Good morning, jewelry maker! Oh, yeah! Well, if you're not, if you weren't awake, you are now. Is that right? Are you awake? Hello? 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 Good morning! <laughs> are you awake, Deb? I am now. It's a good <laughs> job one of us is. Yeah. Tell you what, I was awake this morning, quarter to six, I was just lying there, just kind of... My alarm's gonna go off in a minute. My alarm's gonna go off in a minute. Just as I started to drop back to sleep, the alarm went off. It's one of those things, isn't it? One of those things. How you doing? I'm Carol, I'm with you for the next four hours on this beautiful, hot, sunny desert island that is Jewelry Maker. Isn't that right, Dan? Yes! Woo! Dan, Dan, the cameraman, Dan. Um, you remember my name. I, I remember his name. I'm <laughs> really mate. bad with, uh, with <laughs> names that have three letters in. So Ben, Dan, Tom, Eric. I'm really bad <laughs> with names that have three letters in. Um, so Dan might be called Rob today. He might be called Pat. I might call him Pat. Um, I might call him Meg. Steve. Steve. Steve doesn't have three letters in it, Dan. Steve. Oh, no, Steve, sorry. Steve, OK. It's the morning. It's the morning. <laughs> You're not used um, to it. Dan, Dan, the cameraman, Dan, <laughs> normally works um, on the on the late show, so he's here. It, it's all a bit back to front this morning. Uh, we've got um, Annalise, who's with us today as well. She's from Ooh. Gloucester University, everyone. Give it up for Gloucester University. Woo -hoo, woo. Here she Yay. is. <laughs> and we have the one. She knows I'm talking about her. The only. The delectable. Cassandra, darling. Here she is. <laughs> Here she is. What? What? No, we don't just do a wait. What are you doing? Come on, Cathy. Here she is. Here she is. Here she is. Yeah. <laughs> Flick of the hair. There we go. We've got Ollie with us who's directing today. Woo. Yeah. Give us a cr yeah. crazy Woo. cut. Crazy. And Makes Dion. Dizzy. Dion, are you going to do it? Dion's producing. She's going to flash her graphics. There you go. We've got an amazing show for you today. We've got Deb. Uh, we did ask Deb before the show today, Deb, what's your speciality? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I've never made a piece of jewelry in my life. Everything. Yeah, I'm new to this. Everything. <laughs> Polymer. Wire, Wire work. Bead loom. Bead loom. Macrame. Macrame. Pretty much everything. Deb is one of those one of those amazing jewelry makers who specialises in pretty much everything. Um, she's going to do some amazing demos for you today. She's going to show us a polymer uh, demo. We're going to see some beautiful, beautiful kits. Three amazing kits today, uh, which is is really really exciting. Um, our early bird today, though, is superb. I don't know who Dion has had to hold and put um, knife point for this, but it is absolutely incredible. This is beautiful. Um, the early bird is a chance for you to get hold of something which is really quite special. It's either going to be really quite special uh, by way of price or maybe it's brand new. This is something which every single one of you is going to want to get. Handmade gemstone chain. Now, whenever we bring you a quality like this on Jewelry Maker. It sells out. It goes. It just goes. This in front of you here is a handmade 925 sterling silver and amethyst chain. Really, really special, special deal for you today. Now, whether you are brand new to jewellery making or whether you are a really accomplished jewellery maker, making your own handmade chain is something which can take hours, hours and hours and hours. Beautiful amethyst, graduated amethyst faceted rondelles. Really, really stunning and beautiful, yeah? Genuine gemstone quality here. To make your own chain, you need quite a fine wire. You need to thread the wire through the genuine gemstones. You then need to make your own handmade chain. Now, Deb, you must know more than anyone how long it takes to make your own gemstone chain. It can take hours, can't it? It can, and because the wire and the gemstones are so fine, yeah. it, it takes longer. Yeah, yeah. Because you want to get it right, um, so it's it's tiny tiny movements it is isn't it and yeah. it can take and uh, uh, do you know what it takes it takes hours and hours to do 
you don't know you're going to get that uniform look. You don't know if no. you're going to get that really beautiful, pristine uniform look. Um, here, you are getting that uniform look. It's handmade. It's been hand finished. Um, I don't know whether you have any um, uh, dexterity issues, maybe in your hands, maybe slight arthritis in your hands. Um, but making a chain, as, as Deb says, and those tiny little movements, it can be it can be really it can be really really intensive on your hands and on your wrists and on your joints. So we've done all that hard work for you. So you can get on with the fun part, which is making that piece of jewellery, designing that piece of jewellery, wearing that piece of jewellery. Now you can do with as much with this as you want, or as little with this um, as you like. You can either cut it up and make it into tassels to put on a pair of earrings. Um, there are lots and lots and lots of options here. Or you could do something as simple as simply applying a chain, sorry, sorry, not a chain, a clasp to either end of this chain. You've got a 925 sterling silver tag on there just to show you um, and show everyone who, who sees this, this is 925 sterling silver. So you've got your 925 sterling silver tag here. Um, and you've got clasps here. Now today we've got a deal on extended chains. We've also got a deal on um, sterling silver magnetic flower clasps as well. Okay, so just you can just apply these and just add them onto this chain. And that is all you'd need to do to make a beautiful sterling silver handmade amethyst sterling silver necklace. Every component in this is handmade. That's a great thing. Nothing is machine made here. It's all handmade. Now. Uh, to say what length it is, it is uh, 48, 48 centimetres in length. That's almost half a metre in length. Now, the quality you're going to be getting here, superb. We've already got comments coming through about this. It would make a lovely anklet. Um, do you know what it would? It's just that kind of length to make an anklet and maybe a bracelet out of, or maybe a triple strand anklet. It would be gorgeous. And all you need to do is add a clasp on. Now, it's got... It's got <sighs> It's got a few key words, this, hasn't it? Handmade, sterling silver, amethyst. It's got the kind of words um, applied to this incredible deal that would make you think, right, OK, this is going to be an early bird, but let's face it, it's going to be the kind of deal which is going to be well over 20, 30 pounds, maybe, because it's handmade, it's sterling silver, it's amethyst. But if I tell you we've already got Carol, who's coming to get two of these. John and Janet, who've come in to get four. Elizabeth, you've come in to get two. Margaret's coming to get two. Angela's coming to get two. Why? Perhaps, perhaps you've seen chains like this bought to you before on Jewelry Maker. Perhaps you've seen the kind of prices we can do these for. We've got comments already coming through about this incredible, incredible chain here. Uh, Ginny from the West Midlands says, Morning, ladies. Uh, I made a gemstone chain recently using citrine rondelles and 0.4 millimetre wire. It took about 12 hours in total to make a necklace. Well, there you go. And how long is it going to take to add that clasp onto this so you can wear that necklace? Seconds, minutes. Today, your deal for this isn't going to be over £20. Do you know what? We are going to give you a real early bird special deal today. Your deal today for this incredible handmade sterling silver and amethyst chain, 48 centimetres in length, 8 95 Incredible. Now you can get involved with Jewelry Maker in a couple of different ways, either by giving us a call on our free phone number. It's free to call from a BC landline. It's 0800 6444 655 or get involved on our website, which is jewelrymaker.com. It's never been simpler and easier to get this from Jewelry Maker. You've got a 30 day money back guarantee. You're only paying 2.95 p and p per order. Look at these comments we've got coming in about this incredible deal. Morning, jewelry maker. Would see the chain as a charm bracelet. Love the show, says Laura. Thanks, Laura. Thank you. Carolyn Oxfordshire and Catherine, you've already come to get uh, two of these as well. Loads and loads of you coming through on the web and on the phones. Over half the quantity has already been allocated, which is great to see. Uh, Debbie says, yay, Carolyn is on, and it's my birthday. What a way to start my day. Please sing happy birthday to me. Debbie, Debbie Pepper, do you really want me to sing happy birthday to you? Do you really want that? Do you really want that? <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Debbie Pepper. Happy birthday to you. Nice. You don't want more done down the cameraman. <laughs> you don't want more. Happy birthday, Debbie. Are you going to come in and get this, Debbie? It's gorgeous. Uh, Diane, you've come in to get a couple of these as well. Loads and loads and loads of you still coming through to get this now. Um, 
There's about a minute queue on the phone lines at the moment, so just be patient. We will answer your call as soon as we can. It is a free phone number from a BT landline, though. Don't forget that. What a deal, though. What a treat. Treats like this. Treats like this are what makes jewellery maker really special, I think. Because we could look at a deal like this. We could look at a, a handmade sterling silver, precious metal, handmade sterling silver amethyst chain. And we could say, do you know what? What is the very what is the very most we could get for this? What kind of price could we demand for this? Could we charge for this? We've gone under ten pounds. Over twenty pounds, you know what? I wouldn't bat an eyelid. It's incredible to be able to bring you deals like this, and it's almost half a meter in length. Imagine what you can do with this. Uh, Debbie from Wiltshire, Carol, thank you. You've made my day. <laughs> really, Debbie? Really? Tell you what, it's the simple things, isn't it? It's the little things. Linda from Hertfordshire is coming to get ten of these. Linda, do you have a special deal? Do you have a special uh, a special little project lined up for these? Yeah, she's coming to get 10 of these. Well done to Sylvia as well. Val, loads of you still coming through. That's great to see. We've got less than 20 of these left now. Well done. That's it, isn't it, Deb? You've got to be in it to win it. And with the early bird, quite often it does sell out, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this is gorgeous. What would you do with this, Deb? Um, bracelets. Mm. Because I'd like to look at it. They're so sparkly. Yeah. Um, but I'd also have to go for the, the really long earrings. Yeah. and then just put an amethyst on the end. Oh, what a nice idea. Just one. Do you know what you're right about being able to see your jewellery? I think that's why rings and bracelets are so popular. Um, uh, popular um, uh, pieces of jewellery to wear, popular pieces of jewellery to make, because you can always you can yeah. always see them on a necklace. Sometimes you, yeah. you don't see that gemstone quality. In fact, we're going to see a, a, an awesome ring demo with, um, with Deb a bit later on. That's going to be good fun. Um, with a kit that's got wire in it, and it's got a very special gemstone as well. Um, now... That has sold out at the moment, so well done to everyone who came in to get that. Can I just show you something which is going to be coming up on today's show as well, which I think this would go really well with. We've all been ooing and ahhing over this this morning. This <clears throat> is one of those deals I am so pleased I have on today's show. This incredible strand that you're looking at above the amethyst, this is genuine, natural, pink spinel one of the hottest pink spinel strands i have ever seen one of the clearest pink spinel strands i have ever seen one of the most significant carrot weights one of the most beautifully faceted and it's coming up on today's show you are not going to believe your eyes when we have a really really good look at this strand. limited to only 30 chances it's limited edition like no other it really really is We've got some stunning strands coming up today. We've got bezel set moonstone. We've got three lots of moonstone, actually. Blue sapphire, loads and loads and loads. But I'm going to move on now to challenge Deb. To, 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 to challenge Deb. It's a bit of a, bit of a, I don't know, it's a, it's a, that was meant to be <laughs> like a, a, a jingle. <clears throat> cha, 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 challenge Deb. I need to work on these, don't I? Mm. Need to work on these. Yeah. Are you are you much of a singer, Deb? No, 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 no. Unlike me, yes. of course. Yes, I don't have your voice, Carol. It's you know, I've not been blessed in that way. <laughs> As I have. <laughs> As I have. Um, well, is this a comment about mm. the spinel? Ooh, Tracy. <laughs> You're killing me showing that gorgeous pink spinel. <laughs> oh, I hope not. <laughs> what, are you, uh, what time are you showing it? What time are we going to reveal the pink spinel? Ten past ten. That's a very, that's a very specific time. Ten past ten. Limited to only thirty chances. It's coming up at ten past ten this morning. Um, very, very special. The reason why we're bringing it to you at ten past ten is purely because there are only thirty chances available. Um, very, very special. Tracy, I hope you're going to be watching them. Here we go. So this is Deb's challenge. I chose a challenge today. Mm -hmm. I said, what about that one? What about that one? Now, Deb um, specializes in lots and lots of different areas of jewelry making. Um, I'm gonna give a kind of two parts of this challenge today. Uh, the first part, of course, is this beautiful, beautiful strand of lavender amethyst by cones so this is the very very soft gentle blush 
colour of amethyst, which I tell you what, a jewellery maker, we've only really started to get this colour of amethyst in over the last 12 months or so. Um, up until then, we, we focused primarily on the very, very deep blueberry and blackberry tones, the really, really dark jewel coloured um, um, amethyst. This is, is almost Rose de France amethyst. It's almost, it, it, it's, it's, got the, it's got those beautiful kind of pink tones going through there. If you're a fan of um, very, very rare genuine gemstones, it looks very similar i'm sure you'll agree to um, a gemstone called maui kunzite which is an extremely rare variety of kunzite it's a beautiful blush tone that you get going through here now dion who is producing today she's a bit she's a bit of a terror um, i'm going to be honest with you she's a bit of a terror my producer um because she loves to do these deals double trouble triple trouble in fact the minute I walked into the gallery this morning and saw Dion, I said, wow, look at your hair. Does your hair represent how you're feeling today? She goes, yes, Carol, I'm feeling <laughs> wild. Dion, could you come and flash us your hair? Just, so, just, to kind of, just to kind of show you how wild Dion is feeling today. <laughs> She's just an embarrassing mum, really, isn't she? Look at her. That, that is a wild hair. Look at how wild she is feeling. I am. On a scale of one to ten, one with at least ten in the words, how wild are you feeling today? Twelve. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Twelve. Is this one of your deals? Triple trouble? Can I try? I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> what are yeah. you doing? Uh, I wanted just to do this. <laughs> touch the graphics then. Yeah. Your, hand, your hand will go behind them. Travel. Can't get there. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Do that. See? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Triple trouble. <laughs> Just trying to... That's that. That is who is responsible for the prices on the show. We give her way too much responsibility. You can barely tie her shoes. So we've got a triple trouble deal here. She's got, she's got slip-ons on. She's, uh, we've got a triple trouble Dion special today. Because you're not just going to be getting one strand here. You're going to be getting two, three strands of beautiful lavender amethyst bicones here. Now, the bicone is my absolute favourite cut for any bead. Um, I think it represents that diamond shape that really kind of luxurious quality from all those beautiful angles, giving you that wonderful surface luster. Isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. That wonderful candy floss quality and texture that you get inside these gemstones is just gorgeous, isn't it? Now, this is gonna be part of Deb's challenge today. This is one of our triple trouble deals, okay? It is gonna be a low deal. It is gonna go very low. Do expect this to sell out. Will it go with the early bird? Of course it will, because of course the early bird was the a a lavender amethyst um, uh, gemstone chain, so of course it will go with that. It will also go with all the moonstone that we've got coming up on today's show, the pink spinel we've got coming up on today's show, the pink uh, quartz that we've got coming up on today's show as well. So this deal will go with absolutely everything that we've got coming up on today's show. Do you want to see a deal today? Because I've already got people coming through on the phone lines to this, and I've got lots and lots of you waiting to see how low we're going to go. This triple trouble deal, it is going to be a deal special. Here's your deal today. Now look at that. 14.95. That works out to around about five a strand, which I'm sure you can appreciate for genuine gemstone quality. And let's face it, this isn't a random gemstone that nobody's heard of. This is amethyst. Amethyst, undoubtedly one of the most famous one of the most popular gemstones in the world. And from speaking to many of you who do craft fairs and our um, guest designers who, who, who do craft fairs as well, the kind of colours that really do sell unbelievably well at your craft fairs, the kind of colours that do so well are purples, pinks, blues and greens. I think the reason why purple is up there is because purple will suit absolutely everyone, whether you've got lovely um, dark hair uh, like Deb or whether you've got um, lighter hair like me, whether you've got a dark complexion or a light complexion, purple will suit absolutely everyone and I think Deb I think amethyst is a gemstone that people feel really comfortable with it's a, it's a gemstone people have maybe um, um, been in contact with before maybe members of their family have worn it before mm. it's, it's a very familiar gem isn't it it is yeah yeah we're used to seeing it in jewelry yeah. on the high street um, so you, you're familiar with with the fact that it's a valued 
gemstone. Absolutely, absolutely. I think people feel more comfortable buying this maybe as the first piece of gemstone jewelry that they've ever bought because maybe their gran wore it or maybe their mum's mm. worn it or maybe their dad had a um, had an amethyst ring. It's 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 one of those gemstones that of course is 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 steeped in heritage. It's got that beautiful quality about it, which is so so. Um, 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 well, it's instantly recognisable, isn't it? And it's mm. lovely to get this in lavender tones rather than those deep dark tones to get those beautiful lavender tones which is that little bit lighter as well 14.95 that works out to about a fiver a strand and just a couple of those just two just two of those beautiful uh, bicones in a pair of earrings we've got some um, earring uh, shepherd's up findings coming up on today's show as well just two of them in a pair of earrings that could be a pair of five pound earrings maybe you've got dozens of pairs of earrings here we've got a text through here mm. uh who says LOL, Dion looks like the sort of person that would be awesome on a night out. <laughs> Dion's actually saying in my ear right now, whoever you are, she wants to come out with you. I don't know, that, I don't know whether to be frightened or whether to, be, or whether to just say, yeah, just go for it. I'd be scared to go out with Dion on a night out. For me to say that as well. Uh, this is from Donna in the West Midlands. Hi, Carol and gang. Uh, mm, gang, yay, Carol's on. Please say a big hello to my boyfriend Adam. Uh, he's a begin uh, who was a beginner jewelry maker and my apprentice. <laughs> Donna, I like that. Whip him into shape. Whip him into shape. He's your apprentice. Are you going to go all Alan Sugar on him and say you're fired? You better not do. Adam, hi there. How you doing? <laughs> yes, I did sing happy birthday. That's right, Dion. Fabulous, um, fabulous what? Rendition, uh, don't give up the day job. <laughs> Sue from Essex, I know where you live. It's not funny. Thanks, Sue. It's all right, it's fine, it's fine. Do you know what, I won't bother. I won't bother, I won't bother singing. I won't have fun. This is now gonna be called Jewelry Maker, The Boring Show. <laughs> Beautiful gemstones, and yours today for 14.95, what a deal. Wow. Look at that, I love your moves today, cameraman Dan. Smooth moves from cameraman Dan, there he is. <laughs> there he is. So. An unbelievable deal. Um, we're going to give this to Deb as part as, a, as, a, as like the first part of her challenge because Deb, I did see you. I did see your eyes flash out the corner of my eye when I said there were two parts to your challenge yeah. today. <laughs> yeah. Her we eyes were saying, "We didn't talk about this. I'm up for anything, but we didn't talk about this." Deb, your second part of the challenge is this plastic ruler. You okay. have to incorporate these gemstones with this. No, no I'm, I'm joking. Is the bead loom. Because you can do bead looming, can't I you? Can. You yep. can, can't yep. you? Yep. She can. This is the most incredible tool. And um, if you're still coming through for that incredible deal on the um, on the triple triple amethyst uh, deal, there's still a few of them left. There's a little bit of a queue at the moment, and we are very very busy this morning. Wait till you see our kits. Wait till you see the deals we've got for ribbon and cord and shepherd's hook um, findings and crimp beads. There's so much coming up on today's show. Um, this is the bead loom. This looks a little bit like a medieval <laughs> weapon of torture, doesn't it? it? It looks incredible. This is absolutely amazing. Rick's beading loom. Who's Rick? Do we know? He's the inventor. He must be the inventor. This is incredible. Now, I have heard so many producers, so many presenters, and so many of you going on and on and on about this incredible bead loom. Deb, what is it about this bead loom that everybody seems to love so much? Um, it's clever the way it's been designed um, because you can extend it as you're working, ah. um, which is one thing. I've, I've got an old wire thing with sort of springs on the ends yeah. and stuff from when I was a kid and um, it's, it's cumbersome. Okay, it's awkward. Yeah. yeah. Um, you have to undo rollers and roll mm -hmm. it up and all sorts. That's really cool the way it, it moves as you work. Well, it doesn't move as you work. You have to move it. 
but um, it it will grow with your work. It's really nice um, and compact as well, isn't it? It is. It's really nicely made. The, yeah. And the feel of it is good. Um, it slopes at an angle, ah. which is nice. So you can have it on your table, yeah. but sit and, and be looking at it at the right angle. Ah, so you're not perfect. then bent over because you either have to sit in a very strange position yeah. or bend right over so you can see what you're doing it, it, um, it, it, with, it, with the old style. It seems like what this has achieved is all of the kind of little bugbears that annoyed yeah. people about beading looms. This has kind of solved it, solved yeah. all those bugbears and, and you've got this one great design. Um, you've got everything that you need here. Um, it, it, it's, one of those, it's one of those tools that well, let me show you some of the results you can get, actually. In fact, we've got a beautiful, this beautiful multi-gem bracelet here, which, of course, would work so well with the bicones that we've got coming, uh, that, that we just brought you on today's show. This is the kind of effect you can get. Um, it comes with the illustrated instructions because this is a tool which maybe, um, which maybe is going to take a little bit of practice to learn how to use. Uh, but I assume, Deb, that once you once you get the basics of it, there's no stopping. It's one of those yeah. it, 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 it's one of those tools that will just keep evolving as well. And um, it comes with absolutely everything that you need. You can see all the tools down here. You've got your wrapping pegs, uh, you've got your measurers, and you've got your spools as well. So you've got absolutely everything that you need here. The quality of this, I think, is one thing. Uh, the quality of this, I think, is one thing that really does separate it as well because it's wooden. It's going to be really nice and hard wearing as well. And certainly the bead looms that I've seen in the past, as Deb says, they've got springs. They've got lots of and um, lots of bits that can basically go wrong. Lots of bits that can break off. And um, this is solid. The quality is absolutely wonderful. And you know what? Dion picked up the box this morning with the bead loom in and said, "Is there anything in here?" It's really <laughs> lightweight as well. It's not. It's not heavy and cumbersome, is it? It's, it's, no. it's really nice and lightweight as well so something which is going to be absolutely fantastic for you to use um, you, you can take it on your travels maybe you uh, maybe you go away for the summer maybe you go away to your caravan or you go away to a holiday home it's something which is light enough to be able to take away with you as well now this is the second part of Deb's challenge today um, it would be really useful actually later on the show Deb to see you actually use this bead loom as well because yep. I understand that there are going to be lots of people coming in to get this today who maybe haven't who maybe haven't used a bead loom before um, so to be able to come in and get this today you can either give us a call or you can get involved on our website jewelrymaker.com and add it to your order that way now you're only paying one lot of P&P this is a big box let's face it it's not particularly it's not particularly heavy the tool isn't that um, heavy but it's a very big box you are only paying one PMP of two ninety five for the whole day, okay? And that includes today's show, the uh, designer inspired show, and of course the late show as well. These are instructions. These are your illustrated instructions. I work very well off instructions with pictures. I'm one of those um, 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 jewelry makers who likes um, um, very visual. <laughs> very <laughs> I love pictures I love very visual ways of explaining things rather than just written instructions and you can see every single bit of the bead loom is explained to everything from the headstock to the tailstock to the warp pegs uh, to the warp rubs um, and the uh, magnets as well it tells you how to install all of um, all of the pegs and how to start off your designs on the back you've got some little design ideas as well so preparing to bead, beading the first two rows, really nice, simple techniques, okay, to get you started, okay? Now, today, we're going to give you a great deal. You are going to be seeing a live demo with Deb, hopefully a bit later on in the show, with her using the bead loom as well. If you have any questions at all, either go to our Facebook page. Don't forget, it does come with instructions as well. $29.95 in incredible and you can get and, and achieve the most beautiful designs the most gorgeous quality designs and um, I've got one of them down here this one looks like it's got them um, some beautiful little gold accent beads in there as well you can make designs like this so easily and it's one of those things Deb that I think if you the more you do it the better your jewelry looks and you get a really professional finish don't you yeah because um, it's again it's one of those things that's about tension so you need tension both ways. You need okay. along your piece and also across. Yeah. Because otherwise it, it does this along the length okay. and wiggles, mm. um, which is quite nice if you want that effect. But if you don't, yeah. it's, it's a bit of a pain. Um, so yeah, that you practice more and more and more and, and you mm -hmm. get to understand what tension you're working at. That's perfect. So 
yeah it's it's really nice tool fantastic so you've got your uh, you've got your amethyst um lavender amethyst bicones and you've got your beadling Brilliant. what kind of things are you going to are you going to be making for us today well i think i i always love making um flowers out of bicones oh, nice. and they'll be so cute yeah they those, are those lavender yeah bicones so i'll make a couple of flowers and a bracelet on ah. the, uh, the beadling this is going to be fun this is going to be great there you are, Cass, those are all your little bits there as well. Um, fantastic, so 29.95, do add it onto your order. Um, you are gonna see a demo a little bit later on uh, with Deb as well, using the, um, using the uh, beading loom, so it'll become even more clear when we uh, show that later on as well. Fantastic, right, where are we going now, Livy? Which one? We've got so many beautiful uh, moonstone strands coming up on today's show. Um, we've got bezel set moonstone we've got moonstone faceted pear drops and we've got moonstone rondelles let me let me show you the bezel set ones first this is actually uh, white or i like to call it silver moonstone this incredible bezel set strand is coming up on today's show oh it's seriously gorgeous isn't it it's coming up on today's show yum 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 <laughs> we've also got this gorgeous strand of rainbow moonstone, this is definitely rainbow moonstone, uh, coming up on today's show. These are faceted pairs of rainbow moonstone. But first, there's a little peg there as well, um, Cass, that's from the bead loom. Missed one. Goodness sake. But first, it's this. Now, white moonstone um my goodness me this is one of those strands of moonstone where clarity wise i think this makes this a really really special strand moonstone is a member of a gemstone family called the feldspar family okay it's called the feldspar family and gemstones which are in the feldspar family um, include moonstone include um, uh, labradorite gemstones basically which aren't necessarily known for their clarity they're known for their um, um, optical properties their phenomenon when you have a moonstone that not only gives you that rainbow quality and you can see there that shiller coming out of this gorgeous strand can you see that that beautiful um, rainbow shiller coming out of this beautiful strand but it also gives you clarity that is very very unusual indeed and really very very rare each one of these beautiful rainbow moonstone um, rondelles has been individually has been individually hand faceted they're stunning aren't they when Ollie was doing the recording of this strand earlier on today, before we went live, I honestly thought that it was a strand of either clear quartz or a strand of, um, of diamonds, really, or dambrite or goshenite because of the clarity, because the clarity is that brilliant, because the clarity is that superb. It was only when I saw it turning around on the, um, on the um, recording and I saw the beautiful rainbow shiller that I realised actually it is moonstone. Moonstone like this, like I say, which not only gives you um, shiller, this rainbow shiller, but also gives you clarity, is seldom seen on Jewelry Maker. Normally it's a, a, a much more opaque quality like the quality we're going to be bringing you a bit later on. Um, so this is very, very special indeed. Like I say, these have been individually hand faceted. Now, with regards to what kind of quality this is, uh, for me, I personally would set that I, I would have no qualms about setting this into into yellow or white gold at all. I honestly would do because the clarity is that good. I personally would want to set this with a precious metal. Um, I would want to set it with either um, rose gold, white gold, or yellow gold. Um, I, I definitely, definitely want to set it with with one of those three precious metals because the clarity is that good. I think it deserves it. Now. Whether you use this with pearls in a bridal um, suite of jewellery, or whether you use this just on its own, making a really um, beautiful little anklet, or maybe something for someone's birthday present, um, make the most of it, because it is a really, really unusual quality to get with Moonstone. Not only that gorgeous shiller, but a gorgeous clarity as well. Hand 
faceted rainbow moonstone graduated rondelles. It's beautiful, isn't it? Stunning, and it's natural. No treatment whatsoever. We're gonna give you a great deal today. It's gonna to be absolutely superb. For genuine rainbow moonstone with clarity this good, surely. Surely you can't put a price on this, but we can. And here it is, your deal today is just superb. Have a look at this. Under 20 pounds for rainbow moonstone with clarity that I, I mistook for the kind of clarity you'd see in Dambrite, Goshenite, even diamonds or even clear quartz. The clarity is just superb. I, I personally, if you wanted to come in and get two or three of these strands, decide which one you want to keep, send the others back so you can get a really good feel as to the one that you want to keep or the two or three that you want to want, um, uh, uh, the two or three that you want to keep, absolutely go for it. But honestly, a quality like this in Moonstone is seldom seen on Jewelry Maker. Normally we give you that much more opaque quality, which is absolutely beautiful. And we've got some coming, um, coming up on today's show. But if you want to get that gorgeous shiller and you want that stunning clarity as well, this is the one to go for. It's really, really beautiful, really, really special. Now, if you are brand new to Jewelry Maker today, you're going to get a number of things free with your first order. A free tutorial DVD, a free tutorial booklet, a jewelry maker get uh, get started with jewelry maker booklet as well and um, you get a whole load of things free with your first order which I'll show you a bit later on in the show as well um, if you're ever stuck for any design ideas you can go to our Facebook page there are over 22,000 people who like our Facebook page it's incredible um, or you can go to um, our YouTube channel and watch loads and loads and loads of um, online demos as well um, Deb could you bead loom with these gemstones um, I think so. I yes. Yeah. Yeah. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, you'd need to use a really fine um, thread and needle, but yeah, you could. You could. Yep. You could just like little um, seed bead size. Yeah. I think I think with gemstones like this, um, Deb, where you get that really unusual quality of moonstone, where you get clarity and you get that beautiful shiller. I personally would like to make uh, little beady beads out of these and just get as much yeah. light into the gemstones as possible, not necessarily use them with any other gemstones, just have little cluster earrings or something. Yes, they make absolutely, they're, they're just compelling. Yeah, as that's a good beads. word actually, yeah, they are compelling aren't they? Yeah, yeah. You know when you walk past those, um, those shops that have got the special lighting and they're effectively selling glass? Yeah, you know the shop I mean, don't you? And, and, and they have that special lighting um, and they look amazing in the window. As soon as you get them outside, they look a bit flat. They look like a piece of glass. What you're getting here has got that quality. It's a genuine gemstone quality and that shiller is going to last. It doesn't matter what kind of lighting state it's in, whether it's in incandescent or candescent lighting, whether it's in bright daylight or whether it's going to be um, in your kitchen at home. They're going to look wonderful. So by setting these into genuine gemstone jewelry, you're always going to get that quality no matter what time of day, no matter what the lighting state. Um, and it's a genuine gemstone. It's not glass, it's not plastic, it's not crystal. It's a genuine gemstone quality. Uh, well into um, Elsa Mama, uh, you've come in to get a couple of these as well. If you do want to multi-buy this, go for it. There's um, no pressure to keep them both. If you want to just get two of them home, decide which one you want to keep and then send the other one back, then you're more than entitled to do that. We've got two more strands of Moonstone coming up on today's show as well. Quite seriously, the deals we've got coming up on today's show are incredible. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Jessica from Midlothian, she says, morning, have to say, uh, I, missed Car I, miss Carol's, uh, I miss Carol's craziness. Have you? Have you? Thousands would, uh, wouldn't agree with you, but anyway, um, I, think, uh, I, think, I think the cat does too. She came in, saw Carol and started purring. That's nice, and, she's now, and is now watching. That's nice. I normally make uh, cats and dogs um, run out of the room, especially when I start talking to them. I could, I could start talking to them if you like. Could do. Uh, Who's that? Who's in the front door? Who's there? Who's in the front door? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? See them off! See them off! See them off! My dog just goes. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do with himself. He starts tap dancing around the kitchen. I'm like, Who's that, Max? Who's that? Who's that? Where's the puss cat? Where's the puss cat? Starts skidding around the kitchen, and there's nothing there. 
<laughs> uh, and we've got another comment here uh, from Laura. Morning, ladies. I feel sorry for myself with toothache. Ooh, you fighter. Uh, but you're cheering me up. Thank you, Laura. Oh, toothache. <laughs> That's got to be one of the worst aches in the world. Don't you think? Mm. Very few things are as bad Miserable. Uh, as toothache. It's like a dull ache. Oh, Laura. Get some gemstones. Cheer yourself up. Ah, ah. Hope you're feeling better soon. Right, what are we doing now, Libby? First kit of the day. Brand new kit. It's a brand new kit. Brand new kit. It's a brand new kit. Brand new kit. It's a brand new kit. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, Dan the cameraman clapping along. I like it. I would sing, but I wouldn't want to show you up, so. Well, well, there we go. Dan said he would like to, he would sing, but he doesn't want to show me up. Why are you laughing? I, I'm, I'm an amazing singer. I'm, I never said you were. Just pipe down, all right? I'm an amazing singer. I am an amazing singer, Ollie. All right. People are laughing at me, I don't know why. They're gonna, they're gonna upset you if they keep laughing, aren't they? They are, aren't they, Deb? Yes. They are. You know my talent. Yes, I recognise My talents are talent. wasted yes. here. They're wasted. Right. Here we go. Brand new kit. What's this one called? Wild at Heart. Sounds a bit racy, doesn't it? Wild. Oh, maybe that's just my mind. Wild at Heart. Now, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous kit. This one. You are going to love the jewelry that Deb has made with this. You're going to see an awesome demo with her as well. Um, in fact, could we have a quick look at the jewelry? Would that be okay? Sorry, directing from the floor. That's very unprofessional, <laughs> isn't it? Look at the jewelry. Look at this, though. It's such a tactile kit, this one. It is beautiful. We're going to see a, a, a demo on that beautiful silver necklace. Um, you're going to love the cord that comes with this kit as well because it's sparkly. Beautiful, beautiful nuggets. Look at that tiger's eye, it's delicious, isn't it? Oh yeah, should we see what's in it? Right, um, where should we start with this kit? You know when you've got a kit in front of you <laughs> and every gemstone strand is what I would call a center stage strand. Occasionally you get a kit um, and the first gemstone strand, it's there. It is the main attraction, it's like, take that. And then the other two strands are like Ollie Murs. They're like the, they're like the support <laughs> acts. Yeah. Robbie Williams, Ollie Murs. So, you know, it, it, it's one of his, all three <laughs> strands here. All three. That's only because I went to see Robbie Williams last year and Ollie Murs, I didn't like him at all. He spent the whole show pulling his trousers up. I felt like shouting, wear a belt. Just wear a belt. And then I realized I sounded really old. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the crowd wanted his trousers to drop. Did they really? <laughs> right, I have reached a very middle age point. Here we go. First strand, smoky quartz faceted barrels. Now, smoky quartz is one of those gemstones. It will go with everything. You ask any one of our guest designers what their top five gemstones are. Smoky quartz is always, always, always in that top five. It is so versatile. In fact, I think Linda, both Linda and Debbie, who are two of our guest designers, um, have both made kits just out of smoky quartz, just to illustrate that point, just how much they love this gem. It will go with anything. It will, it will go with any gemstone. It will suit anyone. The reason why I like this strand so much is because of the shape of the gemstones, the way these gemstones have been faceted. I've seen uh, rondelles of um, uh, smoky quartz, rounds of smoky quartz, pretty much every conceivable shape and size of smoky quartz. I don't think I've seen faceted barrels of smoky quartz though. These are really, really pretty. Not only are you getting that incredible chocolate brown colour and that beautiful clarity, but you're also getting stunning surface luster because these gemstones have been faceted so beautifully. So I think we can all agree that is a definite centre stage. Take that, uh, Mark, oh no, Gary Barlow for me. Gary Barlow strand, I love Gary Barlow. Hmm. Only Gary Barlow recently, yes. Not when he first was in Take That and he had that awful haircut. It was just dreadful, wasn't it? Now I do fancy it, Gary Barlow. Um, second strand. <laughs> he could talk me into bed. That's a very rude thing to say. <laughs> It's a very rude thing to say, Ollie. Right, second strand. 
This is effectively a double strand, okay? Stunning. <laughs> Ollie is doing, Ollie is doing, Ollie, my director, is doing a Gary Barlow impression in my ear now. Right. White moonstone nuggets. Now, it, this is effectively a double strand, so effectively you're getting two strands here for the price of one. This shows you the variety uh, that there is in moonstone, the, the variance of colour and clarity. It shows you that moonstone isn't just about um, um, a white or a creamy colour gemstone. You've got greys in here, you've got browns, you've got sandy colours, you've got clarity, you've got opaque gemstones here. It's effectively two strands for the price of one as well because it is a double strand of nuggets here. And it's surprising how far a strand like this will go because, of course, all the gemstones are, are different sizes and different shapes. The third and final strand is just amazing. This is tiger's eye. Now, to get tiger's eye, which gives this much chatoyancy out, is actually really, really quite difficult. Tiger's eye is one of those gemstones that gives you a natural um, optical property called chatoyancy, which is light entering the gem, reflecting off the inner silks. It gives you the, the illusion of almost highly polished wood. It's a, it's, a, it's a natural quality. Not all tiger's eye has chatoyancy. Not at all, at all tiger's eye can give you this level of chatoyancy. Sometimes tiger's eye can be very, very dark in colour and not have much chatoyancy. As I'm sure you can see here, those butterscotch colours, those gorgeous golden tones. That chatoyancy is amazing. Each one of these marquee-shaped gemstones could be a statement pendant. Two of them would, be, would make the most beautiful pair of earrings. Three strands here, awesome, aren't they? Gorgeous. Then we move on to the extras. Memory wire, oh, sorry, not memory wire. Um, what, what's this? This is beading thread, monofilament, and elastic. Your staple threading essentials here, okay? So three lots of threading essentials. We've then got findings. Now with this particular kit, these feel really heavy, wow. How many findings are you getting here? Is it, is it 115? Wow, these findings are really weighty. These are antique, uh, antique bronze plated copper findings. I just wanna show you just how much metal there is in this findings pack. Look at how much metal, physical metal there is in these, um, in these really awesome extra long head pins. They're incredible, aren't they? The chain in this findings pack is awesome. Look at this. This counts as one finding. This meter of antique bronze plate to copper uh, chain counts as one finding. It's absolutely incredible. 115 findings. Look at them all, they're incredible. Everything there from your crimp beads to your head pins, uh, to your crimp bead covers, to your uh, earring findings, extended chain. There's loads and loads and loads going on here, okay? 115 findings in total. And this is a really heavy findings pack, okay? Let me just show you one last finding here as well, because I want to show you these beautiful spacer beads. Look at those. Great spacer beads, really awesome addition to this findings pack. 115 findings in total, don't forget. Now, I've got one more extra to show you. And it comes, it comes in the form of sue, suede cord. Sparkly suede cord. <laughs> in this beautiful chocolate colour, like a mocha chocolate kind of colour. And it's sparkly <laughs> in this beautiful, almost like a almost like a nutmeg colour. This one is slightly lighter, and then silver. There are three lots of sparkly suede cord here. One millimeter in gauge, five meters in length. 15 metres of suede cord here. 15 metres of sparkly suede cord. This is a relatively new, uh, new material to jewellery maker. So, effectively four strands of genuine gemstones here, because you've got a double strand of that moonstone. 115 antique bronze plated copper findings. 115, three lots of threading materials in uh, monofilament, beading thread and elastic, and then 15 metres of sparkly suede cord in three different tones. Today, this kit is absolutely, absolutely awesome. It's on the button. And we're gonna see an awesome demo with this, but first we've gotta show you the price. Your deal today 
21.95. Incredible. This is just gorgeous, isn't it? And do you know what? These kind of neutral tones, these kind of earthy neutral tones are the kind of tones that anyone can wear. Isn't that right, Deb? It is. And anyone. absolutely gorgeous. And you could throw in um, a bit of turquoise for the Ooh, summer. Or nice. you could throw in... Um, you know, some amethyst or something. Oh, and lovely. that would work. And it, the colours and the tones in this are, are amazing. I think I think neutrals are, are something that anyone can get away with. I think when you get colours which are um, which are present in nature, they're going to suit anyone, aren't they? Mm. They really, really are. I want to draw your attention to what Deb has done with this um, suede, this sparkly suede cord, because it looks incredible. Um, Talk us through this piece here, um, Deb, because it looks like, yep. is this macrame? Macrame, yeah. It's incredible, and look it, at this. It, it feels really soft yeah. and comfortable to wear. Um, and it worked really well. Mm. It, it just almost formed itself. And it's so um, sparkly as well. It's just gorgeous. It is, it's yeah. got that subtle, sparkly quality. And, and, and with that, sorry, Carol. No, no, um, no, not With that, when I was working, I wasn't conscious of trying to make the sparkle come to the top. And, ah, and it just did. It just did it. So, um, and the yes, nice thing about the sparkly quality on this, it's not the kind of quality which is going to rub off. It's not. It's not little no. fragments which are going to rub off. It, it, it's kind of fused sort onto of the sweater. Integral. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah. So you've um, used it in a really beautiful way there, with of course the tie design. Those spaces as those well. Those spaces, they're awesome, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Yeah. Look at those spaces, aren't they beautiful? It really makes this piece of jewelry, I think. Um, moving on to this next piece here, you've done a beautiful square uh, square weave here, and again using that suede cord. Look at that. So that was Kumahi mode, right? Um, with the darker of the browns mm -hmm. and the silver. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And you've used the clasp in a really beautiful way there. Look, part of the 115 findings is this gorgeous T-bar clasp, uh, which Deb has used here. Isn't that gorgeous? Lovely, lovely clasp. There, it's so nice to get all this in the kit. Um, this is a really simple piece, isn't it? This is it lovely. Is, yeah, yeah. Um, that clasp is Ooh. is too much of a feature yes. to hide at the back and um, be a clasp. So it it you can actually put that piece straight over your head. Oh yeah, um, perfect. Or you could um, undo it mm -hmm. and use it as a clasp and wrap it around a couple of times maybe, or use it as a bracelet. So again, this clasp here is like part that. of the findings pack that you get in the kit. Mm. So you get this with the kit, which is just gorgeous. I agree with you, Deb. It's far too much of a, uh, a, a, a feature clasp to hide around the back of a necklace. It needs to be around the front, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, this piece here for me is a standout piece. So I love what you've done here. I think the silver cord works so beautifully with the moonstone. Yes. The tiger's eye at the bottom that you've made into that stunning pen. It just looks gorgeous, this piece. Stunning, isn't it? Look at that. I actually struggled with that for ages because I couldn't make a decision on which tiger's eye to oh. use. <laughs> it's one of those things, isn't <laughs> so it? You, I was going you, round and round in circles. Yeah. Oh, that one. No, this one. And I just couldn't decide. Yeah. You they picked three of the best there. Mm. Uh, and is this what you're going to show us? Uh, yes, just how to make Perfect. the front section. Yes, please. Um, so it's ever so simple. Mm -hmm. um, started off, I, I actually undid this strand and removed some of the stones okay. um, on the one I've got at home mm -hmm. so that I could use them in another piece. Mm -hmm. But if I just show you here, um, starts off at the front just with a knot. Um, so take your strand. Mm -hmm. Just make a normal overhand knot. Okie dokie. And pull it. If you shake it at the same time, it sort of makes the knot bounce into the centre. Ah, okay. Perfect. Um, and then that's ready to go and attaches at the, the loop end here mm -hmm. into your cord. Yeah. So to hang your um, tiger's eye off at the bottom, yeah. if I show you how I made that section. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Eventually, I chose some tiger's eye. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the conservatory as well, so the light was flooding oh, in. Oh, but they all looked incredible, all, didn't they? Yeah, amazing. Um, one of the ball head pins, yep. um, which fits in really nicely, just yeah, a little flash of, nice. uh, of metal at the end there. Mm -hmm. So, taking the snips, okay. just cut off about 
at um, leaving about a centimetre mm -hmm. showing and then I just it's just made up of simple wrap loops okay um, so turn a, a loop oops a little more neatly than I did there that's all right that's a good loop da, 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 da. right so that's the first one mm -hmm. um, and I decided I wanted to have three hanging down so I did that three times okay and then took um, the smoky quartz mm -hmm. and threaded it onto one of the star head pins. Oh, I haven't seen those ones before. The stars or flowers. Oh, wow. quite oh I like cute. those. And that's in the kit? Yep. Oh, nice. Um, and what I've done in one of the other kits is actually embed these, oh. some of them, into the polymer clay. Oh, nice. Um, of you. Oh, so I didn't realise you've got little flower yeah. star ones. Oh, lovely. They're dead. They're cute. So turn the loop at the end, push my stone down. Yeah. So I've got the star up this, this end. Um, again, cut off, leaving about a centimetre to make a loop. And I did that four times. Okay, dokie. So then um, the way I connected them up, if I show you on this one here. Oops. So that's what we've got there. Oh, lovely section. Yeah, lovely. So we just connect them all up in. Can you hold that up, up to um to, to up show where? So uh, Dan, Dan, the cameraman. Yep. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. You can't see it behind my. Uh, no, no, no. That's okay. We can see that. Yeah. Lovely. Um, and that's how I did the earrings as well. Oh, that perfect. Same, same sort of scenario. Uh -huh. Then using um. The chain here actually comes from the clasps because I didn't want ah, to perfect. the okay. cord ends. Mm -hmm. um, so I undid all of the, the clasp mm -hmm. and then ha I've hung the first drop um, halfway. So I put jump rings in between yeah. and then I took a, a final jump ring. So mm -hmm. we've got four jump rings connecting all the chain pieces up. Yeah. And there we fit, go. ping, fit mm. it all together. Mm -hmm. um, pop one end of the chain on. Yeah. And then take. Ah, okay. Close it up until you're ready to um, to use it. Okay. And then you just feed the chain through. Oh. along with all your bits and pieces oh. but you have to then um, turn it round so yeah. that you've got them showing mm -hmm. at the bottom rather than top once you've connected it all up so you connect your two chain ends up with your your jump ring yeah hang on let me pop that down again drop my jump ring there we go So open it up. Uh -huh. Find the two ends on my chain. It's a nice way of doing it, actually, isn't it? And it's it's really quite Feeding simple. Feeding through the knot. Dead, like yeah, dead effective. And um, nice and secure, I imagine, as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Once it's all connected up, where's the chain? There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope, I've only got one end. But that's the general principle. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's a really nice way of doing it, actually, and a much more and much more secure um, doing it that way. Feeding it through the knot. Yeah. 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 So it's not sort of attached onto the cord or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's um, oh, see that's just gorgeous and such a simple technique as well. Yeah. I like it. And then just just um, play with it a bit until you've actually got it to hang. Yeah. In exactly the right place. But your cord simply here. That's gorgeous. Thanks so much for that, Deb. Okay. So you've got everything that you need in this kit, including those 115 finds with those gorgeous little head pins with the flowers on the end. Uh, effectively, well, you've got your three strands of genuine gemstones, including a double strand. Um, and of course, 15 meters of that beautiful sparkly suede cord as well for 21.95. An incredible deal for you today. Um, if mm. this is going to be the first time you ever get anything from Jewelry Maker, you can get this kit home, make jewelry from it. And if you're not 100% satisfied, send it back to us with all the pieces of jewelry that you've made. We'll give you your money back as well. How incredible is that? Should we go and see some of um, your designs over the Wall of Fame? I think we should. Let's go. See you over there. Race you. Hi, 
we're over at the wall of fame. I've got number 495 here. This is absolutely amazing. This is just gorgeous. This has been sent in by Charmaine from Luton uh, in Bedfordshire, who says, hi all at Jewelry Maker. This week's wall of fame is a silver, a silver wire wrap cuff slash bracelet. I use lapis lazuli bicones, small blue, um, and small blue stones. I have a snake phobia, so this is a good <laughs> chance to catch a representation of a snake. I enjoyed making it, and I've added uh, it to my ever-growing jewelry collection for craft fairs and exhibitions. Um, all products are available from lovely jewelry maker. Uh, thanks, jewelry maker, for giving me another way of exploring my creative side. And that's from Charmaine. Charmaine, that is absolutely gorgeous. And I wonder how much Charmaine's going to sell that mm. for actually at craft fairs. Make sure you put your time into it as yeah. well make sure you apply that to the price as well Charmaine but that that is definitely going to sell that's gorgeous isn't it number 495 good luck to you 493 wow look at this wire work today I know it's wow uh, it's, it's amazing. amazing um and this is from Beverly mm -hmm. um hello hang on Hello, my favourite TV channel peeps. Oh yes, hello to my favourite TV channel peeps. This is my entry for WAF this week using your oh so malleable antique bronze copper wire and the caramel coloured striped agate you sent oh, me recently. Gorgeous. Hope you like it. Little Bevin of Little Bado is how she signed off at the <laughs> end. <laughs> isn't that gorgeous? That's so intricate, isn't it? It's wonderful. Yeah, that's really, really beautiful. Really some, nice balance. Yeah, lovely. I've got some love, uh, some more beautiful wire work here, number 496. Uh, sent in by Rachel Smith, who says, I attended the wire work heart pendant course uh, at the Big Bead show in Surrey this Saturday with the lovely Rachel Norris. Ow! Rachel suggested that I submit cre my creation to the uh, Wall of Fame uh, to share with you. Hope you like it as much. I love doing the workshop. Best wishes, Rachel Smith. That is gorgeous. And again, something which is so organic, but it's got beautiful form behind mm. it as well. That's really stunning. Good luck to you. That's lovely. Mm. Um, 494 is Barbara Fletcher, and this is really short and sweet. It says, oh, Hi gorgeous. everyone at JM. Hope you're all well. This week's entry is made from copper, silver, and antique bronze wire with carnelian nuggets. I love um, carnelian. Hope you like it. Good luck to everyone. Oh, all from JM. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. Isn't that gorgeous? It is. It's lovely. Really, really lovely. Uh, number 497 here, which has got scale mail, which looks like it's been ah. hammered as well, which is really interesting. Yes. Sent in by uh, Gloria from Coventry. Hi all at Joey Maker. Been away for four days, so have withdrawal symptoms. I bet you mm. have. This is something I finished before I left. Inspired by Gemma. The stones are agate. Looking forward very much to the bridal workshop next Monday. Lots of love to you all. Gloria from Coventry. That is gorgeous, Gloria, and I absolutely love scale mail. I love what you've done with these. Mm. That, 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 that beautiful kind of um, leaf quality to the scale now looks gorgeous. Uh, we're going to be drawing the Wall of Fame today at about midday, so that's going to be good fun. What's coming up next, Livy? Sp oh my goodness, Missy! Oh, spinel time! Don't go anywhere. Ooh. You could be the proud owner of one of the most limited edition strands we have ever brought to you on the channel. There are only 30 chances available. This is the creme de la creme for serious gemstone lovers. If you love rarity, purity oh my goodness me and you love hot pink this deal is going to be for you it's coming up in just a few seconds the jewelry maker wall of fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer each week one lucky entrant will win 100 pound credited to their account and the runner-up receives 50 pounds if you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Get making and good luck. Join guest designer Louise Jacobson for our Wirework Rings DVD. This DVD contains a step-by-step -step guide on how to use a ring mandrel, create single and double stone rings, cluster rings and much more. Get the inspiration and help you need to create your very own handmade jewellery. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewellery Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. The fastest way to shop with Jewellery Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. 
Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the Watch Live button on the front page. You can also use our Refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one p and Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. When shopping with Jewelry Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Get involved with Jewelry Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or alternatively go to our website and click on watch the live show, simply type your message into the box and press send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Now this is something very, very special indeed. Very, very special indeed. Do you know something? I remember um, Steve Bennett, who is the founder of the Genuine Gemstone Company, who's currently walking to the North Pole at the minute um, for charity. Um, I remember speaking to Steve Bennett um, a number of years ago about spinel. Um, and about pink spinel. I've seen him talk about lots and lots of gemstones before. I've seen him talk about um, diamonds, about quartz, about all sorts of gemstones. You know, we've had conversations about lots of uh, different gems out there. Um, but to see him talk about spinel, he's got a real passion about this gemstone, a real, real passion about this gemstone. As far as gemstone history goes, as far as my love of gemstone goes, one of the first times I was ever exposed to gemstones was when I went to the Tower of London. And I went down there to look at the crown jewels. Um, and it was actually when I first started working for the Genuine Gemstone Company, and there was a group of us who went down to the Tower of London and we, and we stood on this conveyor belt. And you're moving along this conveyor belt and you're looking at the crown jewels and you're looking at all of these incredible Genuine Gemstones, priceless gemstones, gemstones, you know, some of the biggest, some of the best, some of the rarest gems in the entire world. Um, and I remember seeing the famous Prince Ruby, and I remember seeing its beautiful colours, its incredible clarity, its ruby red appearance. It's one of the biggest, um, what was thought to be then rubies in the world of uh, 55 carats. It is in actual fact a spinel. And that is what is so incredible about this gemstone, known as the master of disguise. This gemstone looks like a whole plethora of other gems. Now with regards to spinel, As far as rare colours go, as far as desirable colours go, this colour, this hot pink variety is up there. As far as what uh, gemologists, gem connoisseurs, gem collectors look for in spinel, there are certain qualities and colours that they look for. The colours that they look for tend to be red, pink, purple, and blue. The kind of qualities they look for, clarity, clarity, clarity. The more brilliance, the more clarity, the stronger the color a spinel can give you, 
the more desirable it is. And with Spinel, it is the more intense colours that always seem to be making the headlines. You sometimes hear about pieces of jewellery that have been sold at auction for six, seven figure sums. And with Spinel, I'd, I'd hedge a bet that those highest price pieces of Spinel are often red, blue, green, sorry, red, blue, purple, pink, and they have that incredible clarity. This for me is on a par with some of the Lurique pieces of pink spinel jewelry that I've bought you on our sister channels. Our Lurique collection being a special, prestigious collection of jewelry that um, we make one-off pieces for. And I've bought you maybe three or four pieces of spinel jewelry from that collection before. I think one of them was probably purple spinel, two or three of them were pink spinel, and the colour and the clarity was of this kind of quality. We're talking serious quality here. Now, because the quality is so fantastic here, because the quality is so rare, because the intensity of colour is so rare and is of this kind of quality, we could only commission a few of these. In fact, how many of these do we actually commission? 31. We commission 31 of these. That's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. Um, are we likely to get any more pink spinel in of this kind of quality with this level of faceting, with this level of clarity? I strongly doubt it. We, we might do. Um, but the fact of the matter is we could only commission 31 of these because there's hardly any spinel out there of this kind of quality that we could get hold of. I personally would set this with 18 karat gold, simple as. Set this into jewellery where it's going to be appreciated because this is a very, very special strand. Arguably some of the best pink spinel I've ever bought you in all of my presenting days. Today, 31 of you can get this strand and only 31 of you, and this is your deal today. This is, this is specialist quality. This is specialist quality. This is high end quality. You want really, fantastic, sublime quality. You want the very best from jewellery maker. This is it. For me, this is it. And today, 35 carats of some of the best, if not the best pink spinel that I've bought you, is under 70 pounds. Incredible. What a treat for you today. Now, Deb, you were looking at this strand before the live show today, and I know you agree with me. I mean, it, mm. it's, it's the clarity, it's the colour, it's the whole package with this, isn't it? And of it course, is. the fact that it's hand faceted as well. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. Absolutely incredible strand. And um, I mean, I was looking at the Moonstone and some of the other strands mm. that we've got, but that one just jumped out as being special. It's got the whole package, this. Yeah. It's got the clarity that um, demands unbelievable high prices for Spinel. It's got the color, the intensity of color that can also demand unbelievable high prices for Spinel and it's natural. Incredible. Your deal today, what a treat. Um, we do have some of these left. Understandably, it is, it is, it is a higher uh, price point for this because of its rarity, because of what you're actually physically getting. But if you want your jewellery to be massively, massively desirable and you're after very, very rare quality, then this, this, is, this is definitely one to go for. Well done. Superb. Congratulations. Well done. Right. We've got so much coming up on today's show, still to come. We've got more strands of Genuine Gems and Sudiki Shaker stick out. We've got deals on crimp beads, we've got deals on earring finds, we've got lards. Would you like a special strand of Moonstone? Would you like a special strand of Genuine Gemstones? Yes. Thanks, stand down the cameraman. Not <laughs> only is this Moonstone, not only is this Moonstone bezel set. 
Ooh la la! When did we start doing these? When did we start? It's silver. Oh my word! Nine two five sterling silver bezel set moonstone. What on earth? This is incredible. We bought your moonstone before on jewelry maker. Obviously, yeah. We bought your moonstone that's been centre drilled. It looks wonderful. It's ready to set into jewelry. This is bezel set. These moonstones, these silver moonstones, have been bezel set into sterling silver. Bezel set into sterling silver. Checkerboard faceted as well. Oh my word, this is absolutely incredible. This is awesome. Bezel set into sterling silver. So all you need do is get this incredible strand home, separate these gemstones out, put a head pin through it, put a little loop on top of it, there's your pendant, done. Isn't that incredible? In fact, let's just separate this down. Let's separate this down into one pendant. Okay, so let's pretend. Let's pretend there's one pendant here. Okay, so just a moonstone pendant. Now, without the chain, just the pendant, if you were to go to your local high street jeweler, would you be able to get a moonstone pendant? Well, you might be able to, yeah. Bezel set, um, maybe, maybe. Quite often you get moonstone just on a head pin with a loop on top and you know, that's it. The fact that this is bezel set, you know, encased in 925 sterling silver, that's very, very special indeed. Gives you that beautiful finishing, uh, uh, finished quality, doesn't that beautiful polished finished quality. So obviously if you were to get a moonstone pendant that's been bezel set, that's obviously going to cost a little bit more, isn't it? Yeah, because it's set into 925 sterling silver. Okay, so for one pendant on its own, without the chain, just the pendant, would you, would you expect a price lower than 30 pounds just for a moonstone pendant? Now this is a moonstone pendant which has been checkerboard faceted. Of course, it's bezel set. Would you expect a price point lower than 30 pounds for a single moonstone pendant? Over 30 pounds. Okay. How about a whole strand, which includes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, approximately nine of these incredible moonstones, bezel set into sterling silver. Oh, wow, look at that. How do you fancy an entire strand for this price here. Do you know what? I don't know how we do this. Honestly, honestly, if I was to walk into that gallery now and there were details on the screen saying 21.95 each, that's for each of these bezel set gemstones. Uh, do you, were you listening to a word I just said then? If I walked into that gallery now and I saw on, on your details on screen 21.95 each, as in for each one of these moonstones, bezel set moonstones, there's about nine on this strand. For each one of these 21.95, I would absolutely, I would not bat an eyelid and I'd say, do you know what? We've, we've priced that completely wrong. 21.95 for the whole strand, that's wrong. And do you know what? Today it is wrong. Today it is wrong. Because we are going down. We're going down to price slashing town. Your deal today for a whole strand of 925 sterling silver bezel set silver moonstone. Do you want to see your, do you want to see your incredible price today? I had no idea we we're going to price slash this, but anyway. Boom! 17.95 for the whole strand. Not only is this bezel set moonstone, it's bezel set into 925 sterling silver. Precious metal. That is absolutely incredible. Catherine loves it so much she's coming to get two. If you do want to come in and multi-buy this, um, just purely because it's moonstone, so you can get it home, uh, pick the strand that you like, send the other one back and go for it. But do you know what? Come in and get two of these. Come in to get two of these and just make a selection of pendants and sell them for a, sell them for a fiver each if you want to. You've got at least, you've got about nine on a strand. You've got, you've got nine on a strand. So that's potentially 45 pounds per strand. The whole strand's are only 17.95. Now can you see why so many people love jewelry maker? You come back to jewelry maker week in, week out. It's incredible, isn't it? 17.95 for the whole strand. What does that work out to? No. 
Dion's just worked it out. That that works out to one ninety nine per moonstone. There is no way on earth I would ever, I would ever get one of these moonstones, checkerboard faceted silver moonstones, bezel set into 95 sterling silver, put it on a head pin, sell it as a pendant. There is no way on earth I would sell that for 199. Deb, what kind of price point could you put on just one of these in a pendant? <laughs> um, on, a, on a chain, 25 pounds. On a chain, it's, exactly, because yeah. Because it's the work that's and involved it's as well, and it's silver. It's precious metal. I can't quite believe what we've done here, Dion. And the faceting on those is amazing because the light just pings around off them. Um, and the colour, the tone of the stone itself is amazing. I just, I can't Beautiful. actually believe what we've done here. Can I just hold one of these up to my neckline? Here we go. That, as a pendant. That as a pendant. If, oh, look at that moonstone, look at it. You're so right about that colour and that quality, Deb. Oh. That on a chain, that on a chain, 25 pounds, 25 pounds. 1795 for the whole lot. Even in a pair, oh, in a pair of earrings. In fact, oh. as a bridal <laughs> set of jewellery, yes. yeah. earrings, just two of them in a pair of earrings and one in a pendant, that could be a 40 pound set of jewellery, couldn't it? Yeah. And it's cost you less than 20 pounds for the whole lot. You could do that three times over. You could make three pairs of earrings, three pendants, and it's only, it's, it's cost you less than 20 pounds. Look at that. Frankie um, says, <laughs> boom, Dion, that's amazing. I think your, I think your Gemini twin is, is there today. Do you know what? <laughs> it's just Dion. She, she says, you know, I'm a Gemini, I'm a Gemini, it's, it, it's, it's my evil trick. It's just Dion. It's the hair. It's her wild hair. The phone lines have gone absolutely berserk. In, do you know what? I, I think that's one of those deals that even if you're brand new to jewellery maker, even if you're brand new to jewellery maker, and, and you've never made a piece of jewellery in your life, anyone, anyone can see the potential in this strand. Down, down the cameraman. Can even you see the potential in this strand? The money-making potential. Is he even listening to me? Hello. Dan, <laughs> no. Dan, Dan, who's looking at his screen going, too busy doing his job. Dan, Dan, the cameraman. Are you a jewellery maker? I've attempted once. He's attempted once. That sound, that's got disaster Ali written all over it. Show, and she said it was amazing. I made a little uh, necklace out. He made a necklace. Out. Apparently it was amazing. I, I think that's... I thought it was terrible. You I thought it was it. terrible. Yeah, <laughs> so was okay, bad. but as, a, as, a, as somebody who's made one piece of jewelry in your life, I think everyone can see the potential in this strand. Can you see the potential in this strand? It's incredible, isn't it? I can stick the book on. Yeah. yeah. It's incredible. Seven. Just, just literally, literally... <laughs> I'm never going to ask Dan anything ever again. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, we've got a comment here from Alicia. Hello, lovely team. I bought the Smoky Quartz version from you a month ago and was happy to pay $24.99. So this is a great deal. It is. Michelle just checked and pendants with uh, just one of these for 30 pounds. You know what, a 30 quid. I want one of those for 30 quid. 17, 17 95 Sorry, say that again, Ollie. Nine times, so nine times that is about 270 pounds. That could be one of the simplest and easiest ways to make a little bit of cash. I think that is absolutely amazing. Well, that's almost sold out. Um, Boom, shaka laka 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 laka. Right, here we go. Extender. This is Jewelry Maker, the extended version. What do you mean, good one? It wasn't meant to be a joke, it's, 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 it's extended. If you're not heard, today we're doing a six hour show instead of a four hour show. Yeah, we are. We're getting paid for that as well. Hey? <laughs> we're getting paid for that. No, we're not getting paid, it's all for free. <laughs> it's all for free. Dion's doing a double. Yeah. Dion's doing a double. Dion's doing the late show today.
and tomorrow. You think the deals are great on today's show? You wait till the late show. Seriously, she'll be she'll, she'll be tired. She won't know what she's doing. She'll be pressing the wrong buttons. You're going to see some crazy price points. There'll be cake everywhere. Is Dion a cake eater? You are a cake eater, aren't you, Dion? He loves a bit of cake. Yes, I am. That was a very positive yes. <laughs> You're a cake eater. <laughs> extender <laughs> chains. Now, Deb and I were talking about extender chains a little bit earlier on. Um, were we, was it you and I talking about extender chains? We were, weren't I've, we? We were talking about extender chains. I usually break them up and use them. That's it. Hmm. Do you want to finish that sentence? You break them up and you... Mm. Use them. Mm. <laughs> I break them up just because I can. <laughs> I don't use them. I just break them up and throw them away. What do you just use the them for, Deb? It out, you know. um, Plenty. What do you have to... What do you use them for, Deb? Um, anything, really. Bits and pieces. So I'll connect wires together with the um, end... What are they called? She's doing a lobster Bits. movement. Crimp. Crimp. Crimp yeah, the covers. ends of the connector chain yeah. that you usually put your cord into, yes. um, I'll use them to, to connect together wires on wire pieces. Ah, that's a clever um, way of using them, okay. And also I'll use them to connect beading thread together ah, and nice. things like that rather okay. than um, sort of crimp beads and stuff. Yes, yeah, so you use um, them like big, big crimps almost. Yeah, oh, and wow, I usually fantastic. use the chain in earrings. Yeah. Um, or uh, you know for pendant drops and things like that i think i think it's really interesting actually speaking to different guest designers and finding out what they use findings for that they're not necessarily not necessarily uh imagined for um intended for using them in different ways so as we say deb um splits these findings up and uses and uses them um, and uses the chain on earrings they make beautiful little earring um bits if you can imagine just a little loop of chain like that on a pair of earrings they look absolutely gorgeous mm -hmm. or something like that can make some gorgeous chandelier earring um, um, with some gorgeous chandelier earring findings looks absolutely gorgeous um or just or just separating them out and using them as individual clasps um having extended chains i think is a really really nice way of making your jewelry even more versatile if you make a simple necklace um, having the option to wear that little bit longer, it's going to suit different necklines. It's going to suit um, it's going to suit different necklines, um, whether it's whether it's a V-neck, whether it's a round neck top, whether it's a polar neck. Um, and it just makes that necklace or that bracelet that little bit more versatile. Also, with these, you have the opportunity, um, as Deb says, to to uh, deconstruct uh, these findings as well and use them for something completely different. Whether you are a seasoned jewellery maker, whether you're brand new to jewellery making, you're going to use clasps. You're going to use lots and lots of clasps and, and using extended, um, extended chain clasps gives you opportunity uh, to make bracelets which are variable lengths, necklaces which are variable lengths, so they will suit absolutely everyone, they'll fit absolutely everyone. Whether you want to multi buy this or not, it's going to be a great deal for you today. Here's your treat today, 95 sterling silver cord ends, 6.95. Now. If I just make you aware, uh, the majority of the cord endings and the extender chains that we normally offer you on Jewelry Maker as part of kits are going to be plated. Normally they're um, silver plated copper or gold plated copper or rose gold plated copper or antique plated, um, it, uh, antique bronze plated copper. These are 925 sterling silver. So these are your precious metal um, extender chains. So do bear that in mind. If you've been making that piece of jewellery and it's got those special gemstones, maybe with, the perp, uh, maybe with the pink spinel, that kind of feel, or maybe with the bezel set moonstone, and you want to finish it off with a really high quality clasp and a really high quality um, extender chain, these are precious metal. Like I say, most of the ones that we offer you as part of kits or as part of threading packs are the plated ones. These are 925 sterling silver. And there is a difference. It does make a difference using your precious metal findings. Um, and advertise the fact that you're, uh, that you're using precious metal findings in your genuine gemstone jewellery. Really, really advertise the fact. You know, whether you're just attaching this to beading thread with some beautiful genuine gemstones, it, it, it does make a difference. It makes a difference um, if you've got a well-trained eye, um, um, you can actually see the difference, but only, only just. But if you advertise the fact, then people will value your jewellery differently. They will look at your jewellery in a different way. Rightly or wrongly, they will do. Carol, you've come in to get, uh, get two of these. Uh, I've got Caller in Essex and Staffordshire as well. You've both come in to get two of the two packs of these as well. You get three of these in the pack. And that potentially is either three clasps or it's three lots of chain and three clasps. Um, you can use this in lots of different ways. Or it's 
uh, three lobster claw clasps, three lots of chain, and three extra large crimp beads. However you want to use them, um, however you want to use them, whether as full on extender chains or you want to deconstruct them and use them in lots of different, um, use them in lots of different pieces of jewellery. Don't forget they are precious metal uh, finies that you've got going on here. So do bear that in mind. Um, still lots of you coming through on the phone lines there. Uh, Lorraine in Cornwall, you've come in and multi-bought these as well. Don't forget you're not doing, um, you're not damaging anything by coming in and multi-buying anything. You are literally just getting your stock levels up because any jewellery maker will tell you having a stash of findings, having a stash of genuine gemstones, having a stash of all of your jewellery making essentials is absolutely essential what you don't want to happen is you're making a load of pieces for craft fairs you're really on a roll um, and and you run out of findings because Deb I mean I've, I've I've only made a few pieces of jewelry in the past I've done a few um, Christmas fairs um, and you you get those moments when you can when your mind is completely blank but then you get those moments when you you just can't stop making pieces of jewelry great design yeah. ideas just keep on coming to you um, and what you don't want to happen is you run out of findings mm. yeah it's so frustrating it is yeah and it's a waste of time as well it and is so I mean if, if you absolutely have to make a piece mm. um, sometimes you'll go off and you'll pay twice as much yeah just so you've got the appropriate finding to make Ab the piece that you want no, it drives me mad yeah absolutely you, you know you don't want to have to go down to your local craft shop and, and, and get those findings and pay more than that mm. you want to be able to have it there know that it's there Done. Done. You know what? I always think of it like um, store um, store cupboard essentials. Like in the cupboard, yeah. I always have certain things like baking powder, self-raising flour. Until the other day, I was making my daughter. What was I making her for? Uh, salmon, her favourite dinner. Uh, salmon spinach in like a creamy cheese sauce. Making the cheese sauce, I thought, yep, yeah, go to the cupboard, get some plain flour, run out. I panicked. I panicked, had to use her uh, cream cheese instead, which she absolutely <laughs> loved. Now she won't eat anything but cream cheese. She just loves it. Cream cheese and ham sandwiches, she loves them. She just, she oh, it's just messy. Messy at the minute. Weaning is messy. Right, here we go. Uh, leather cord creations. Ooh, if you want to create something beautiful with leather cord, you can. You can, can't you, Cassie? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what are you eating? What are you munching on? Porridge. porridge. I've had my porridge this morning. Do you have any breakfast this morning, Deb? Oh, uh, I don't function without food. I, no, neither do I. No. I stuff my face before before yeah. I come on on on, on screen. I do. Go on, what do you yeah. have for breakfast? Anything nice? I had oh, mushrooms nice. and fried Ooh. eggs on toast. Oh, delish! Yeah. Delish! Yeah, yeah, lovely. Oh yeah, I want that now too. <laughs> I'd porridge with some blueberries in. Oh, that's nice. What I really wanted was, you know, bacon, egg. <laughs> Full English. You had Madeira cake for breakfast, Ollie. Ooh. There you go. What did you have, um, Dan Dan the cameraman? I had a uh, double um, sausage and egg. Uh, Don't even go there. A very popular fast food restaurant. Double Bad sausage and egg. Boy. And Muffin. It was, the was it amazing? Ever Don't even go there. Ah. Oh. <gasps> Everyone's talking about food now. Everyone's talking about bath music. Right. So leather cord. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the leather in a couple of seconds. But first of all, let me show you the gems. These look like summer fruit, summer berries. Ooh, I love a summer pudding. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Pink and red, beautiful um, uh, agate here. Beautiful dyed agate. Really stunning quality. You are getting, you are getting this, aren't you? As part of it, yeah. Beautiful um, kind of Morello cherry coloured agate here. Really beautiful dyed uh, genuine gemstone quality. I love Morello cherries. My husband doesn't like cherries. He's weird. Uh, no, beautiful faceted rounds. My husband rounds. doesn't like cherries either weird isn't it yeah weird what wrong? What? cherries they're gorgeous weird what is there not to like about cherries don't know anyway faceted Sorry. rounds of <laughs> gorgeous gorgeous dye dagger here really really beautiful <laughs> you've then got beautiful top drilled rounds of snowflake obsidian everyone is unique that's what i love so much about this gemstone beautiful uh natural volcanic glass here 
uh, top drilled rounds so you get that bit of a dangle on these even though they're rounds it's really really awesome way of drilling genuine gemstones it's just a slightly different drill set um fantastic quality um, um uh, snowflake obsidian here let's get to the leather cord now you're going to be getting uh five meters of each one of these five meters of fire engine red two mil diameter leather cord oh this is just gorgeous this is such hard wearing cord i love it it's got a beautiful sheen to it it's really nice and thick it's two mil in diameter and it lasts and it wears beautifully i got it in fire engine red this gorgeous um i don't, I don't uh, it's like a mauvey color this is it's really beautiful i love this color i love wearing this color I've got a couple of tops in this kind of colour and a couple of scarves. I just love that kind of mauvey colour. It's beautiful. Love that um, um, colour clashing there. It looks beautiful together, doesn't it? It looks awesome. Reminds me of an Indian summer red and mauve like that. Then you've got this beautiful purpley colour as well. These are all two mil in diameter, five metres of each one of these. Now, those three colours look awesome together. You know that beautiful macrame and kumihimo piece that we saw from the last kit that Deb made? It worked really well with the leather cord. And there's a final um, spool of leather cord here in aqua look at that those four colors are essentials this summer aren't they gorgeous so red mauve purple and aqua really really beautiful colors and of course you've got your two strands of genuine gemstones now we're going to give you a great deal for all for, for everything you can see here for the four lots of leather cord that's 20 meters of leather cord and your two lots of genuine gemstones these are the kind of designs you can create with your leather cord um, it's a really beautiful, really pleasing, very substantial cord to use for your kumihimo, for your macrame as well. Great for guys' jewellery as well. Do you want to see your amazing deal today? I do! Boom! £12.95. Now, I don't know if, you're, um, um, if you've got kids who are um, in the middle of the Easter holidays at the moment, but using big, fat, gorgeous cords like these... Uh, just to make even um, even just plaited friendship bracelets out of, they're going to last. If you're looking for that, uh, to make that beautiful braided or knotted piece of jewellery and you want it to last and you want it to look better with age, as a lot of leather, uh, leather bags, leather coats uh, do, they always look better with age. The more you wear them, the better they look. And that's what's going to happen with this leather cord. It's going to look even better six months down the line. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And of course, you've got your two strands of genuine gemstones there as well. For under £13... You've got all of it. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Really, really fantastic. Give us a call. Don't forget, you've got a 30-day money-back guarantee with absolutely everything on today's show. And you're only paying 2 p and per order, which is amazing. Right. Next kit. Oh. Next brand new kit. Next brand new kit. Next brand new kit. It's the next brand new kit. Brand new, next brand new kit. Next brand new kit. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! -hoo. Yeah. Woo! That is enough, isn't it, Cassie? That is more than enough. Much more than that's enough. What was that, Dan, down the camera, man? I think your microphone's broke. I think my microphone is broken. <laughs> Not laughing. I'll have, uh, struck a chord there. You have struck a chord. Painful chord. I've struck a chord. Oh, he's making a joke. He's making a joke. Struck a chord. As in leather cord. <laughs> right. Uh, good morning, my lovelies. Good morning, Lindsay. Uh, good morning, my lovelies. Would you say a big... Oh, this is it. Here we go. Would you mm -hmm. say a big hi to my nine-year-old, uh, Joseph who loves it when you sing. Ah, as much as I do. Uh, when, you, when you were meowing earlier, our mm -hmm. cat Bernie looked at the TV. See, I told you, I can speak cat. Uh, <laughs> don't know what you said to him, but love the show. Lindsay in Middlesbrough. Lindsay Middlesbrough, hi. Joseph in Middlesbrough, age nine, hi. Bernie the cat. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a good one. Was that not a good one? No, oh. they don't like that last one. <laughs> That'll drive him mad. Sorry if I've offended anyone, <laughs> any cats out there, by the following comments. I can't speak cat, by the way. I can't. <laughs> 
Here we go. Brand new kit, everyone. This is called Renaissance. Um, it's only recently we've started to make up kits uh, which feature materials and elements that really suit our guest designer's skills. This is gorgeous. Um, there is another guest designer that we have here on Jewelry Maker called Debbie Bulford who would absolutely love this kit. So Debbie, if you're watching, which she quite often does, she watches um, uh, The Day Show while she's making up kits. If you're watching, Debbie, you can get it. You can get it today. At least that's a bonus. No? Oh dear. Right. This kit has got a bit of everything. The first strand of genuine gemstones is like a breath of fresh air, just stunning. Dyed blue, crackled quartz ovals. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now we've got a producer with us today. My producer, lovely Dion. Um, Dion, what's your favorite color? <laughs> uh, blue. Whenever we have anything on the show that is blue, Dion goes a little bit crazy. A bit like when you give a cat catnip. They go a bit crazy. Whenever Dion sees blue, she goes a bit bonkers. I just want you to bear that in mind, okay? Lovely. So blue crackle quartz ovals here, 10 by eight millimeters in diameter. Lovely, lovely, lovely blue sky quality. It's bright, it's breezy, it's fresh, it's clean, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, yum, 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 yum. Next strand. This is an absolute winner. Faceted barrels, again, like the smoky quartz I bought you in the last kit. Faceted barrels, this time, of labradorite oh my word this is such a beautiful strand beautiful uh, labradorite faceted barrels now you're going to be getting labradorescence galore going across this gemstone don't you love the fact that this variety of labradorite gives you everything from those gorgeous khaki greens through to those silvers oh look how luminous this gemstone is as well it's just gorgeous it's like a light bulb beautiful glowing strand of stunning labradorite third and final strand crazy lace agate oh in this silvery tone now this this kit just reminds me of beautiful um uh soft fluffy clouds blue skies and storm clouds it's such a gorgeous evocative um, um, kit isn't it you've got all of those wonderful sky tones in there you've got those bright sunshine sky tones in there so those breezy summer sky tones you've got those gorgeous stormy clouds you've got those beautiful white fluffy clouds in that gorgeous um, strand of crazy lace agate now it's a very natural kit isn't it You've got those wonderful natural tones in there the jewelry which deb has made is absolutely glorious but i want to show you first of all what else you're getting in this kit monofilament beading thread and elastic here they are so your three threading es um, essentials 115 antique bronze plated copper findings just the same as in the last kit really awesome with your extender chains in there your awesome clasps a meter of chain head pins earring findings spacer beads uh, crimp bead covers loads and loads and loads of findings 115 findings in total now normally we, we would bring the price on for this kit and that would be uh, and that would be it and we go and see a really fantastic um we go and see a fantastic uh, demo with the uh, guest designer and that would be it but there's more there's more. Now Deb uh, specializes in lots of different feet, um, in, in lots of different um, mediums. One of those mediums is polymer clay. The polymer clay you get with this kit is absolutely gorgeous. Um, these are the accents of polymer clay. So they've got something extra added to them. That's what accents um, um, polymer clay is. The first block of polymer clay is bronze. And now I know this is one of Debbie Bulford, who is one of our polymer clay experts. And this is one of our absolute favorite variety of polymer clay. Um, as soon as you start to move this polymer clay, you can see what's been added. It's a sparkle. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a sparkly bronze polymer clay. It is so beautiful. You will see this in action in just a few seconds. Also, this incredible pearl polymer clay. This is one of my favorites. In fact, it probably is my favorite um, uh, color of polymer clay. It's, it's pearlescent. It's beautiful. It's just gorgeous. This, you can make your own beads which look like pearls. You really can. You can make your own uh, pearls. Uh, they look awesome. Now there's two blocks of polymer clay here included in this kit. I've also got something else. The most beautiful 
Christy Friesen, who's the most incredible woman. We need to get her on the show again because she's absolutely awesome. Uh, she's this crazy, crazy lady uh, who, who, who absolutely loves Polly McClay, Swelligan, lots of our incredible um, um, mediums for Polly McClay on Jewelry Maker. This is one of her moulds and it's the Renaissance mould. It is absolutely gorgeous. This has only been on the show once before. Uh, and it was with me and it was with uh, Debbie. And it was a couple of weeks ago the kit that we brought to you with this mold, I believe, um, sold out. Was it a couple of months ago? Two months ago? Wow. Um, the, kit, the kit that we bought you with this mold sold out on the show, okay? This is only the second time it's ever been brought to, uh, to air. I remember bringing you the kit, and I remember showing you the mold, and I remember, I can't remember who was producing me though, as soon as I showed you the mold, the phone lines went absolutely berserk because it's such a beautiful mold. The gemstones are fantastic. The polymer clay is fantastic as well, but the mold really does add something so special to this kit. And you wait till you see the designs that Deb has created with this. Now, we're gonna give you a special deal on this today. Um, three strands of amazing gemstones, 115 findings, your threading essentials and two blocks of polymer clay accents. These are the really, really special polymer clays featuring one of Debbie's favourites, one of um, absolutely one of my favourites, uh, the pearl polymer clay and a Christy Frisian Renaissance mould. This is a very, very special exclusive offer we're going to offer you today. Your deal today for this is incredible. Have a look at your price point today. It is awesome. $24.95. It is amazing, 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 amazing. This mold is something you can use again and again and again and again and again. Um, I, can, I can tell Deb is itching, uh, itching to tell us uh, what she thinks of the polymer clay and the mold in this kit. Um, what do you think of the polymer clay and the mold in this kit? Because the mold for me is, it's, it's stunning. It's so crisp, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's lovely. It's, um, it's, it's really useful is the wrong word but it was really useful yeah because, okay um the the patterns within it the shapes within it the swirls are really elegant yeah um and you can cut it up and use it in different ways and that's build it. with it and it's, that's re it's a really versatile mold isn't it yeah um yeah. it's the first thing that struck me about the mould when I, when I saw it, when I bought it to you a couple of months ago, was just how crisp it is. Mm. The detailing is very, very crisp on this mould. Um, and look at how Deb has used it. It is quite incredible how she's used this mould. Take a look first at um, how she's used the mould on this pendant here. The detailing is just gorgeous. Now the polymer clay in this kit is really beautiful as well, isn't it? Yeah, the pearl is one of my favorite colors. Oh, is it? Perfect, yep. yeah, it's one yep. of my favorites as well. It's just gorgeous. I add it to everything. Mm. <laughs> now, what, does it, what does it add to a polymer clay that you add it to? Um, it seems to lift the color somehow mm. and it gives it a sparkle, a pearlescence. Um, I, and if you add it, oh, I've been adding it to black recently. Oh, nice. And I just love it. Yeah. Um, so you can, you can get colours that you can't get within the packets, you know, custom make. Absolutely. You can mix your own mix colours, it. as it were. Mm. Mix your own palette. Mm. The only way I can describe this pearl um, uh, polymer clay is, do you know that on the market at the moment, there are loads of moisturisers um, and, and um, uh, creams and foundations that you can buy that make your skin more luminous, that make you look more radiant. That basically is what pearl polymer clay does for polymer clay. It lifts it, it makes it more yeah. radiant. It's just, it's beautiful. Um, you can see how uh, Deb has added it to um, this pendant here as well. It's just, it's so beautiful. You've made your own beads as well, which I love. It looks great with that blue uh, crackle quartz, yeah. doesn't it? The, the bronze mm. and the blue uh, crackle quartz were just screaming to be yeah. put together. Yeah, they look gorgeous um, together. They really do. They, oh, look at this one down here. I just love how you've used this mould in different ways. This one here in this beautiful teardrop design. Well, you haven't used the whole mould in this one, have you? No, I used... Um, look at that. I, used, I made the, the shape mm -hmm. in the mould, took it out and then used a cutter. Ah, one of the teardrop perfect. cutters to, to shape it. And it works beautifully with the antique bronze findings, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's lovely. That's just the pearl on its own. It looks like a cameo almost, doesn't mm. it? Well, when I first opened the kit, I thought it was, you know, we've had in the past the um, sort of cameo, the women in the middle of yes, cameos yes. and things. Yeah, the actual the molds. cameo moulds, yeah. yeah. 
Mm. And I thought it was one of those until I looked at it properly. Mm. Um, and it's, it is like um, sort of Victorian mouldings in is, buildings, yeah. in architecture. Yeah, like the roses um, you get on the yeah. ceiling. Yeah. yeah. But, but it's got a lovely depth to it. It does. And a, an amazing amount of detail. Yeah, it really does have the most incredibly crisp detail. Now, um, what we're actually going to see a demo on, oh yeah, look at that. And now I love what you've done here. You've made this beautiful um, um, teardrop shaped bead there. And, and a piece of jewellery like that is going to be, it, it, it's not just going to look great, it's going to sound great, it's going to mm. feel great as well, isn't it? It's just beautiful. I love what you've done with it there. And again, that's that's the clasp. Mm. Um, with just isn't that the, gorgeous? A small amount of the, the mould cut out and... Um, it looks like a little seed, something. it's beautiful. Yeah, isn't yeah that gorgeous? just sprouting out. Now, we're going to see a demo on this necklace here, is that right? This yeah, one here? Yeah, the bead at the bottom. Um, I love, I love how Deborah's used the mould with the pearl and overlaid it um, on this on this uh, big teardrop shaped bead. Um, I can't wait, I can't wait until uh, I can't wait until you see this. This is absolutely gorgeous and really remarkably simple as well. Oh look at that, that's gorgeous. Did you just how did you attach that on? Did you just stick that glue. on with a bit of jewellery glue? Yeah, glue. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh I like that. <laughs> That's and really that, nice. that covers up the clasp has got like a line where it you, you ah, open and close it perfect yeah um oh that's really so clever that, that just mm. seals it gorgeous okay so how do we how do how do we go about okay. making this bead then um to start with just take some of your clay i've mixed some polymer um pearl with some of the uh, bronze. bronze okay I don't know what the quantities are because I just kept adding bits and taking bits away. You've got to make your own quantities up though, can't yeah, you? That, yeah. And that's the great thing about this. Um, mm -hmm. Make a ball shape and then just roll it into a length by applying more pressure on one end as you're rolling it. And that's a huge one, but never mind. Um, less on the other end. Um, Actually, that's a bit dark, that big. <laughs> and, and just so you know, uh, apparently there was a mould yesterday on the Designer Inspired Show, uh, which is very similar to this, but it is a yeah. different mould that was on the Designer Inspired Show um, uh, yesterday. So this is uh, only the second time it's been on, uh, been on the show, just so you know. I was, I was watching um, yesterday oh, afternoon, okay. and when the mould came out, I was like, oh no, it's the same one. Um, but when I looked closely, you mm -hmm. can see it, it's a completely different design and the two would work together really nicely. Well, there you go, perfect. If you came to get the one yesterday, yeah, gorgeous. Okay, perfect. Star head pin, um, basically just chopping it in half and using the bottom half um, to make the loop at the top of the bead. Um, so make your loop and then um, make it squiggly. Ooh! Just using your pliers. How do you make it squiggly? Um, just, I just use my round nose um, pliers and just And kink. why do you do that? Because when you push it into the clay, mm. it doesn't then pull out <gasps> once it's baked because it, there's resistance all the way along. Like a serrated edge. It is, yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go, good tip. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so it only takes a couple of seconds and you can do it quite quickly as well if mm. you've got a whole load um, set up. Using the little decorative bead, which I loved, I used that on the top of the bead as sort of a bead cap. Oh, nice. So just push that in. Now it worked better on the smaller one, but. Cute, okay. Okay, so get into the mold, taking the pearl, mm -hmm. um, and then just push it into the mold. Um, now I haven't got a blade with me, but what I did was I when I pushed it in mm. I just carefully sliced off any excess um, so if you have a tissue just blade took it down a bit mm. yeah yeah I didn't bring mine with me for some reason oh, okay dead. so push it in <laughs> but you can do it without having to slice okay. which is even better because you could damage your your mm -hmm. mold if mm -hmm. you're a bit heavy-handed um, and it comes out looking like oh, that. That's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. So that's just the pearl on its mm -hmm. own. Now, there are a couple of ways you can cut it out. Um, you can use um, a craft knife or one mm -hmm. of your tissue blades and mm -hmm. go round. 
but I found that it's quicker to actually use scissors. Oh, good and it, tip. It works really well. So you can choose which bits you want on oh, your mould. Oh, I like that. And you just cut it away as if it was paper. Sue from Essex is saying that pendant looks like carved jade. It's beautiful. It does, doesn't it? Or it looks it's, like really yeah. heavy lace almost, doesn't it? Like a beautiful, heavy, handmade lace. Do you know, I, just I was looking at it yesterday when I made it and I thought if you did it in um, like a Wedgwood blue, mm. it would, you could make it look like some of the Ooh, vases, Wedgwood yeah, vases that would with be the, nice. the embellishment on. Yeah, absolutely. That sort of thing. So Beautiful. Right, so just cut round your pattern and then if you decide that you don't want a bit, so say I don't, didn't want this flourish here. You just cut it off. Just slice it off. Um, like it and once i've sort of trimmed oh and that cut, looks beautiful you get something like that um and then i started at the top of the bead mm -hmm. with one end mm -hmm. placed it right on the top and then just oh, squishing it into place gorgeous. this one's a bit heavier but that's all right because i haven't sliced it off at the back but um it then oh, folds so round. Gorgeous, I love it. And that's how you do it. Isn't that beautiful? So because this is so big, this bead, I could take the other the other section mm -hmm. and add more bits in if I wanted to. It's so but beautiful. it was just one one section mm. went round on that size bead. And then of course if you wanted to make it look even older you could swell against it, you could do yep. so much to it. That's the glory of a kit like this. Yeah. Is we've given you all the we've given you all the basics and you can do whatever you want with it. Um, but it does look like heavy lace, handmade lace. If you want that vintage look to your jewellery, and this um, in a in a wedding suite of jewellery, you know, with that yeah. kind of lace neckline. Oh my word, that would just be gorgeous, wouldn't it? If you take Love your time, that. you and and did use a craft knife, you might even be able to cut out some of these sections as yeah. well and open up the pattern even more. Which, oh yeah, um, yeah. On a, on a bridal piece, that would be absolutely gorgeous wouldn't it, wouldn't just, it yeah isn't that gorgeous so this kit been very very popular 24.95 for your three beautiful strands of genuine gemstones there and look how much jewelry deb has made because of course with the addition of the polymer clay it means you can open up the jewelry you can make even more and um, which means that she's made one two three four five six seven eight pieces of jewelry and you must have had loads I've of i've got clay loads left of clay over. left yeah 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 and that's something that with this kit and with one of the other ones we've had the the beading thread in it is mm -hmm. is a fantastic color oh yes really it's, like a, it's, it's, it's like a gold colored uh, yeah. beading thread that you get with this kit yeah isn't it gorgeous there it is loved it oh, sorry yeah, there it is there just looking gorgeous stunning so the whole kit today 24.95 absolutely beautiful thanks a lot Clark Deb. that's gorgeous a jack of many trades right <laughs> we see you in the wall of fame we'll see you over there i'll race you <laughs> Come on, Dan. Bit of dodgy <laughs> camera work there. <laughs> Dan, Dan, the cameraman, can you just hurry up, please? Tell making you run. I'm making you run. No, no, Do you want to go first, Deb? Okay, yep. This is lovely. <laughs> um, oh, wow, that's nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ooh. So, 498 um, from Monique Dawson. And um, it says, hi, JM, this is my entry for WAF, a rose quartz large nugget bracelet. The gemstones are from JM and all findings, including antique style spacer beads and toggle clasp are from my stash. Um, oh, she's local from Monique Dawson in Redditch. Oh, that come on, one of our workshops, lovely. Monique. It'll be lovely to see you. That's gorgeous, really stunning. Uh, number one here, number one. This is from Stephanie Higgins from Ross on Y in Herefordshire, who said, oh, sorry, who says, uh, I've been making jewelry for a while as a hobby, but I've never had the confidence to show any of my pieces. Why not? So this is my first entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a simple design bracelet, which I used uh, gemstones and gold beads from a mystery box I bought from jewelrymaker.com. I hope you like it. And that's from Stephanie. Stephanie, that's gorgeous. And please, can you send us some more of your pieces? Because that is really, really lovely. And I love the way you've displayed it as well. Stunning. Thanks a lot for that. And uh, best of luck. Uh, 499 
is Debbie Horton. Good morning, JM Towers. Morning. Should read it in, in more of a booming voice, I think, really. Yeah, probably. Good yeah. morning, JM Towers. <laughs> Hope all is well for everyone. This week, I've done a wire work necklace in silver with two different blues. The Paul. I can't say that. No, what, love? Power shell. Power. Guess not that is hard, beautiful. Debbie. Come on. <laughs> Add to that the great new charm findings, black ribbon and the ribbon clasp and it makes one lovely necklace, all from JM of course. I hope gorgeous. you agree. Good luck to all, especially me, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful integral work on there and the power shell is stunning, isn't it? Uh, number two here, time. beautiful, beautiful <laughs> wire work uh, from Cappy in Leeds, uh, uh, who is still our friendly JM junkie apparently. Good morning, jewelry maker. I hope everything is uh, is ev everyone is having a super day so far. Uh, thank you very much, my love. Uh, here is my wall of fame entry for this week. I finally cut up the strand of amethyst druzy I purchased from you months ago and made a pendant using some of your wonderful wire. Sure would enjoy a win, but so would everyone else. So in good sportsmanship, I I wish good luck to everyone. Still your friendly JM junkie Kathy. Kathy, that's gorgeous and I love the um I love how organic this wire work is. It's absolutely stunning Kathy. You're so good at wire work. That's really beautiful. Thank you very much for that and um uh best of luck to you. Oh sorry sweetheart. <laughs> One last look. Oh there we go. <laughs> <laughs> 500 is from Sarah Bryce and she says hi here is my entry for the wall of fame. This is a necklace made of amethyst medium, medium chips and some beads from my own stash. Hope this is good enough for the Wall of Fame. It's lovely. Absolutely, it's good enough for the Wall of Fame. Mm -hmm. So if you want to enter the Wall of Fame, um, email studio at jewelrymaker.com. Uh, we, want, we want your entries and we're gonna be drawing the Wall of Fame at about midday today. What's coming up next? Oh my word, it's blue. So be afraid, uh. be very afraid of this price point. It's sapphire and it's coming up in just a couple of seconds. Don't go anywhere. Join guest designer Sarah Elvin and get creating stunning designs in no time with this Kumahimo introductory DVD. The easy to follow steps shown on this DVD will make you feel like you have your own personal tutor and will guide you through a variety of techniques to get you started. To get your hands on a copy, simply contact our call center. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Our commitment here at Jury Maker is to provide you with genuine gemstones. Many places might not be able to do that, but we want to guarantee it. So how do we do it? We go to the laboratories and we get tests. We have our own in-house gemologists that can guarantee that when we say genuine gemstones, that's exactly what you're getting. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. 
We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. I'm genuinely scared about this deal. Dion's got one on her today. Dion has got one on her. Blue is her favorite color. Whenever we have anything blue on the show, it goes low. Surely. Surely not for Sapphire. Surely not for genuine, graduated nuggets of Sapphire. Surely not for Sapphire that take any one of these, make them into the most beautiful wire wrapped ring. A sapphire ring on your jewellery stall, wrapped in wire. Thirty pounds? Forty pounds? For sapphire? Fifty pounds. Surely to goodness. Surely not for when you've got a strand of what, three, six, seven, eight sapphires of this size with this amount of color surely surely not today dion's words surely yes and i don't care what they say let's do it sapphire nuggets today on Jewelry Maker as you have never seen them before. This price point for this strand of genuine gemstones is ridiculous. Genuine sapphire. You can say you are a jewelry maker who works with sapphire. You can say that you are a jewelry maker who makes genuine gemstone pieces from one of the world's most prestigious genuine gemstones. A gemstone of royalty, of celebrities, of Maharajas, a genuine gemstone that has been worn by members of aristocracy for hundreds, thousands of years. And jewelry maker today, this little channel in the middle of Redditch on the Moon's Moat Industrial Estate, today we dare bring you a strand of sapphire nuggets genuine sapphire nuggets with the most beautiful stunning almost cashmere blue color going through it and we dare take a strand of genuine sapphire this low this is your deal oh my word Is this Dion's deal today? 1995, is this Dion's deal today? No, we're going lower. Hold on to your pants. This is gonna go even lower today. You've gotta call us, you've gotta get involved. Never before have I seen sapphire of this kind of color and carrot weight go. 1695, oh my word. You have just got to get it. This is gonna be one of those deals that they talk about in months to come. This is going to be one of those deals where in what, three months time, six months time, a year's time, you'll be saying, did you get that strand of sapphire that Dion took down to 1695? No, it was too slow. Did you get it? Yeah, I got four of them. I got four of them. And what did you do with them? Well, I made them into earrings. I made them into bracelets, sold them for 
uh, 20, 30, 40 pounds a piece. 1695 that is for the entire strand that's not for each and each single gemstone that's for the whole strand what a treat for you today oh my goodness me the phone lines the web have gone absolutely nuts you've got to 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 get it because i tell you what in three months time six months time people will be saying did you get that strand of sapphire did you get that strand of sapphire that dion took down 1695 what the strand of sapphire we got 135 carats of genuine sapphire don't be one of those people who said, no, I was too slow. Or no, I wasn't watching. Or no, you know what? I missed out. Get it. Get it now. Get two of them. Get three of them. You can choose which one you want to keep. Send the others back. But my goodness me, genuine sapphire. Ben wants a hundred of these. Ben, you're going to have to be quick. You're going to have to be quick. If you want it, you've got to take it. You've got to grab it with both hands. You've got to do it now. Are you getting a 30-day money-back guarantee? Yeah. Are you still only paying 2.95 p p per order? Yeah. If you're brand new to Jewelry Maker, you're going to get this and loads of things free. Yeah, what are you going to get for free? A Jewelry Maker DVD, a Jewelry Maker booklet, a, uh, a, uh, a workshop and tutorial booklet. You're going to get everything. Everything. Everything you've ever wished for and more. $16.95. Stunning, gorgeous, beautiful sapphire. It's yours today, but you've got to get it. Oh my word. Hold those lines. It's a bit of a cue there at the moment, so just stay where you are. We will answer your call as soon as we can. How incredible is that? I tell you what, well, that deal was so amazing that Dan Dan, the cameraman, has left and has been replaced with Tom. Dan just couldn't deal with that deal. Tom, can you deal with deals like this? He says he can't. He says he can't. No more amazing deals. No more amazing deals. Tom, or shall I call, or shall I call him Bambi? I don't know. You're always Tom. You're Tom to me. You're not Bambi to me. You're Tom. You're Tom. Now... I've got a secret. I'm not going to tell you yet, but I do have a secret. No, nope, I'm going to tell you in a minute. I'll tell you in a minute. Do you know what? The last time we showed you these Shepherd's Hook findings, do you want to know what it was? November. Yeah, November. November. Remember, remember, the 5th of November. Uh, it was November. Um, now, I've got a bit of a secret here. I was sitting down with Dion before the uh, before the show started. We we're both having a look through the uh, the schedule for today. I, I was having a look at prices. Have a look at what you're getting here. Just just take a look. Earring findings, yeah. Oh, that one's pointing a different way. Wh which one is it? Is it that one? Uh, no, they're all no, they're all facing the that one. That one, there we go. There we go. Oh no, it's those two. That's really, is it, is it those two? Anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, Carol. It just doesn't matter. Right. So, lovely, versatile earring findings, yeah? 20 pairs here. 20 pairs. Awesome. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Um, uh, uh, 10 pairs, 20 pieces. Okay. So you've got your earring findings here. Shepherd's Hook earring findings are always useful. You can never have enough pairs of these. This is the classic, this is going to be a classic deal where you're going to multi-buy, multi-buy packs of these. Now, I was sitting down before the show and I saw, and I saw the price point that we were going to take these down to and I thought, wow, that really is an amazing price point. In fact, in fact can we show the price point please, um, Dion? Can we show how low we're going to go with these today? Because I looked at these and I thought, wow, Nine ninety-five. That's an amazing price point. That's an amazing price point for um, for uh, rose gold plated copper earring finders. Thought, wow, that's an amazing price point. That really is superb for ten pairs of rose gold plated copper um, um, earring findings, That is amazing. Nine ninety-five. What a deal. Then I saw that they're not rose gold plated copper earring findings. They're rose gold plated silver earring findings. Silver earring findings. Precious metal earring findings, 20 pieces, 10 pairs for under a tenner. That is an incredible deal, isn't it? That is a superb deal for 10 pairs of rose gold plated silver earring findings. And then I saw this. Boom! Shaka laka 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 laka. 
6.95 for 10 pairs of rose gold plated silver earring findings that is just bonkers that is incredible for rose gold plated copper earring findings that would have been amazing but for rose gold plated silver earring findings 10 pairs 6.95 that is bonkers that is bonkers it's one thing taking 10 pairs of earring findings, which are rose gold plated copper, down to 6.95. It's quite another thing taking 10 pairs of rose gold plated silver earring findings under seven pounds. It's quite another, that is just superb. So many of you are multi-buying these. It's unbelievable, well done. I've got loads and loads and loads of you saying yes. It really is tremendous. Um, Deb. Well, having precious metal earring findings is, is, is quite important to some people, isn't it? Because particularly if you're using these with certain gemstones, it, it, mm -hmm. it's very important. If you've got gemstones which are, um, which are valuable, you know, it's important that you use precious metal findings. But if you're allergic to certain metals, it's probably the most important finding to have as a precious metal. Yes. Because it goes through your ear, doesn't it? Yeah. It, it's in direct contact and all the way round, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm allergic to all sorts. Oh, are you? Yeah. So. But you presumably be okay with these I'm ones. I'm fine then? with that. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, so. It, it really, it really is very, very important that if you are going to be selling your pieces of jewellery on, um, that you make people aware that the that the, 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 the metal used in these earrings is precious metal. Precious yeah. metal plated precious metal. It's not like it's rose gold plated copper, which has its place and it's absolutely gorgeous, but these are rose gold plated silver. This is precious metal right the way through to the core. And do you know, for so many jewelry makers out there, that is so important. For me, it's, it's very important as well as a jewelry maker. I, 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 only re I, I, I prefer to use precious metal findings mm -hmm. just so everyone is covered. Just so everyone is covered, no matter what you're allergic to, everyone is covered. Now. So many of you are multi-buying these. It really is incredible. The people who are multi-buying are Josephine, are Linda, Susan, uh, Petra, Patricia, Norma, Josephine, Barbara, Margaret, Layla, Alison. You are all multi-buying. If you want these, you've got to get them. Please do check out your basket because if you come in to get these on the web and they're allocated to your basket, if the quantity uh, gets to a certain point and stocks become very, very low and you haven't checked your basket out, that will be taken out your basket and given to somebody who can pay for it there and then. So you've got to check out your baskets quickly. Right, uh, now Tanya says, gorgeous. I always find it hard to choose uh, which would go with rose gold though. Any ideas? Oh, sorry, which wire would go with wire. rose gold? Um, well, we've got the copper uh, wire, which looks great with rose gold. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, the turquoise coloured wire looks great with rose gold. Uh, uh, the navy blue looks great with rose gold the as purple well. Purple does as well. Purple, yeah, purple would look really nice with it as um, well. And also the chartreuse, um, because it's the green and the pink tones. Yeah, nice. It's quite soft. And then, of course, any of the precious metal wires as well, whether it's yellow gold, um, um, silver or rose gold, will go with the rose gold just because precious metal colours just go together, don't they? But, and also, Black if well. you use the, um, the silver, mm. it picks up some of the tone where, Ooh, where it comes okay. close to the rose gold yeah. plate. Um, it, um, it picks up some mm -hmm. of the, the, the tone, some of the... I don't know, it just sort of blends. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, it's because silver is very, very uh, reflective. It's yes, the world's most yeah. reflective precious metal. So it's going to pick up on, on that gorgeous warmth from the, uh, mm. from the rose gold. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, I've got uh, um, uh, a number of you coming to multi-buy. Linda's coming to get 10 of these. You know, if you do want to come and get multi, multi, multi-buy these, uh, please just go for it. If the quantity is there, you are more than welcome to do that. You're more than entitled to do that. Pat, you've come into multi-buy. Susan's been multi-buying as well. So's Jane as well. Um, so's Holly and Michelle. And uh, Evelyn's coming to get three packs of these. Valerie's coming to get a couple as well. Um, quite seriously, multi-buying packs of findings like this is always, always, always going to do you um, a favour. Just purely because if you, if you get on a roll with making pieces of jewellery, um, and, and you get on a roll and you're making loads and loads of pairs of earrings out of, oh, I don't know, these beautiful bicones that we bought you earlier on. Maybe you're using the chain as well. You know, if you want to make loads of pairs of earrings out of these, um, you might want to use precious little findings with them. And you don't want to um, come to the uh, um, 11th pair of earrings that you're going to be making only to find out that you've uh, run out of your findings. So. If you want to multi-buy these, go for it. Go for it. You can always send some of them back if you want to. If you want to send a pack of them back, no problem at all. Go for it. Uh, Mary, you've come in to get three packs of these as well. It's brilliant. 6 95 
for rose gold plated copper earring findings would be brilliant. 6.95 for rose gold plated silver earring findings. 10 pairs of them. That is something very, very special indeed. It really, honestly, truly is. Really, really wonderful. Well done. Still got more of you coming through. There's a bit of a queue on the phones at the minute. Just hold those lines. Uh, we'll answer your call as soon as we can. But that is just brilliant, isn't it? Well done. Um, so, having findings like this, wonderful. And you know what? Findings like this are really, really easy to use as well. You can quite simply and easily make a pair of earrings using findings like this, can't you? Um, yes. Um, uh, yeah. can't, can't you, Deb? Yeah. Really nice and simple. Um, and with those, because the findings are such a nice quality, mm. um, you don't mind having them on show a bit. And, Absolutely. You know, it's it's a benefit. That's a good point, actually. That's a good point. Talking about having the findings on show, look at this. On the flat bit of the uh, finding, there's a, a little 925 stamp. It's not a hallmark, obviously, uh, but it's a 925 stamp. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that just there? Can you see that down, down the cameraman? Just oh, there. Right. 925. Yeah. Can you see it there? 95 stamp which of course proves that this is at 95 sterling silver underneath that rose gold plating really really beautiful and fantastic quality as well and because it's 95 sterling silver you've got that strength you've got that malleability you've got that workability and of course you've got a precious metal quality just fantastic well done i've still got more of you coming through to get these if you do want to do these um uh, just get them well done yes Livy. what's coming up in 10 minutes oh pink color coated quartz are we are we going to have time for this of quartz of we quartz will we are. <laughs> are we going to do this about quartz quartz to quartz to two twelve that no, that was rubbish <laughs> don't don't suggest that it's coming up in a bit Yeah, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Put those down there. Here we go. Right. I've got a lovely bundle here. What's this bundle called? Graduation. I like it. <laughs> Graduation. Are all three of these strands graduated? If they're not, it's going to be. It's going to be. It's, it, it, it's a rubbish name. They are. They are. They are. Now, the great thing about having a graduated strand is um, if you're uh, a lazy jewelry maker like me, you can just literally um, attach a clasp and, and, and that's a necklace. And it looks great. I, see, I'm quite, I'm, I'm, I'm quite lazy sometimes. But you know what? We've done all the work for you. So you may as well just maybe put the gemstones on some beading thread and there you are as a lovely graduated necklace. Perfect. All of these are graduated from six to 14 mil in length, Dalmatian Jasper. Um, but quite seriously, um, the, the great thing about a strand like this is the fact that you've got um, from six to 14 millimeters on each one of these um, strands, because there's more than one. Um, so you've got gemstones perfect for earrings, rings, necklaces, bracelets, the whole spectrum of jewelry design, okay? Dalmatian Jasper, one of my favorite uh, varieties of Jasper. You can see why it's called Dalmatian Jasper, can't you? Yeah, exactly, it's got spots on it. Uh, you've got a beautiful strand here of graduated howlite really really lovely like the moon it's such a lovely gem so it's got those wonderful gray undertones as well really really beautiful impressive strand there and you've also got a graduated strand of stunning picture jasper uh, another favorite of mine it looks like an antique map i love those sandy tones these three strands are absolutely perfect for this summer um, whether you're into your uh, big uh, cork wedges or your espadrilles or you love your um or oh, you love your really gorgeous linens, or you love your uh, beautiful wooden pieces that you might wear in the um, in the summer, your gorgeous bangles, whether you're into beach jewellery or relaxed summery jewellery, this bundle is absolutely perfect. And like I said, because they're graduated strands, um, it means you've got gemstones in here, perfect, uh, which are a perfect size for earrings, necklaces, bracelets, the whole lot. Now, three strands here. Do you fancy a great deal? Because I do. Because I do. Do you know we're going to go low? Yeah! 10.95 that's just incredible isn't it that is absolutely wonderful wonderful but that's under four pounds a strand basically and when we're talking about genuine gemstones that really is tremendous and the great thing is about these uh, three strands every single gemstone is completely and utterly unique there's no other gem on this strand like that or like that or like that or like that in fact every single one of these gemstones is unique in the world there are no other gemstones like any of the gems here 
just wonderful, isn't it? Just fantastic. All from six to 14 millimeters in length. It's great having a graduated strand, isn't it, Deb? Because you do have that opportunity to make the whole spectrum of jewelry design, don't you? You do, yeah. So you've got you've got the smaller ones for earrings, you've mm. got the bigger ones for your feature pendant. Absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm rubbish with graduated strands though. When I get them, I get so excited. <laughs> I cut them. <laughs> And then I'm like, oh no! I've oh, just then you put have to sit in, there yeah. and you have to painstake them all out again. Oh, yeah. Deb! So don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't do get that. excited. <laughs> <laughs> but they are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? And 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 again, it's a bit like the first kit that we had today. Lots mm. of neutral, natural tones in here, which everyone will suit. These are real summery tones, I they think, are. as well. Yeah. Yeah, I can just imagine wearing these with a lovely pair of linen trousers, maybe. Ooh, Ooh. nice and cool. Nice and good. It's very Debbie Wolford, actually, this bundle. Very Debbie Wolford, indeed. Uh, lots of you coming through for these now, which is great to see. I can't wait to see these used, maybe with some of the um, sparkly um, suede cord that we've had and bought you today. Uh, we've got some fantastic deals on uh, wax cord as well and some more suede cord coming up on today's show. So if you do want to use these with really interesting textures, then, then why not just go for it? Because you've got some beautiful sandy and stone tones in here as well, which will suit everyone because these kind of colours are present in nature, so everyone will suit these. Really, really lovely. A bit safari-ish, I think, actually, isn't it? Gorgeous. Right, next. Speaking of awesome threading materials. I've got some awesome threading materials here. Can you share the, share the joke with the class? What are you laughing at? Oh, you were saying the code of it to me? Oh, you were saying the code of the next bundle to me? Well, it's pointless saying that, because what am I going to do? <laughs> ANGC81. There you are. It's one of those weird. You had to be there jokes, I think, wasn't it? I'm not, I'm not laughing. <laughs> Cord crazy! Cord crazy! It's crazy! It's cord and it's crazy. Um, right, fantastic. Now, um, I know you love your cord. I know you love your cord. And according, <laughs> according to uh, Dion, we're going to do an amazing deal here. According, Ac what cord do we have? According to the details on my screen, <laughs> we have. Uh, all right, <laughs> take the Mickey. According to my, according to my deals. We have a silver sparkly suede at cord. Woohoo! Five meters of that. Oh no, 10 meters. Oh no. For, oh no. What's occurring? How many, how many meters do we have? Five meters of your silver suede at sparkly cord. Five meters of your mocha uh, sparkly suede at cord. Five meters of your chocolate brown or truffle colored uh, sparkly suede at cord. 10 meters of your orange satin cord. This is so beautiful. It's satiny, it's smooth, it's gorgeous. 10 meters of your burgundy colored satin cord and 10 meters of your peachy colored mm. satin cord as well. This is awesome. This is incredible, isn't it? 45 meters of cord here for you to kumihimo with, macrame with, knot with, and to add to this gorgeous bundle here. Why not? Why not go for it? I think they would look absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous incorporating those designs, wouldn't they? Yeah. Okay, so six lots of cord, 45 meters in total. Would you like to see a deal? Yes, please. Here it is. You see, why would you go anywhere else other than Jewelry Maker? Why? Why, 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 Delilah? Why would you go anywhere else other than Jewelry Maker to get your cord? Because for 45 meters of cord, and look at the quality of this cord. If I can just get, in fact, let's get the orange one because it's a bit easier to see on screen. This satin cord's just delicious, isn't it, Deb? I it love is. it. Yeah, it's um, it's so soft. It's beautiful, isn't it? And when you kumahimo it? with it, oh. the braid is is lovely. It's fluid, it's satiny smooth. It's satiny smooth. It's so silky. You can see it's got that shine to it as well. It's just it's beautiful. It feels wonderful. This actually with the leather, uh, sorry, with the suede cord, that would look great, wouldn't it? A lovely kind mm. of mixed media piece that would be. Yeah. Really, really lovely. Lots of you coming through. And do you know what? If you do run community groups or beading groups or after school clubs or you're a brown owl uh, for brownies and guides and um, getting a deal like this making the most of a deal like this where you can get for, for, for 
argument. So, I mean, it, it, it's pretty much a trade deal, isn't it? Pretty much a trade deal for 45 meters of cord of suede and suede, uh, sorry, of suede and satin cord. You know, you may as well, you may as well get it. And why go anywhere else other than jewelry maker? If you're looking at this deal and you're thinking, do you know what? I can see that's a great deal. I haven't got these in mind for any particular um, design at the moment. Get it anyway. You will always end up using these cords. You will always end up using these materials. That's the great thing about jewelry maker. You will always end up making. <coughs> Um, uh, pieces with these um, somewhere along the line um, whenever you come in and get deals like this um, now sorry Ollie what was that Mark guest designer Mark yeah, he does doesn't he guest designer Mark um, who uh, specializes in things like macrame he well he, he, he speaks quite candidly about the pieces of jewelry that he makes and, and, and the craft fair that he does. And, and he's very honest and he says, you know what, the, the margin that you can make on a piece of jewelry um, when you use cord like this from Jewelry Maker mm. is quite remarkable. Uh, purely because you can get it so cheaply from Jewelry Maker, you can make those pieces. Of course, you, you have to um, invest your time and your energy into making these gorgeous pieces. But once you've made them and you sell them on, you can sell them for such an incredible price, which is, you know, which is fantastic, but you're still making a profit. And that is what matters to a lot of jewelry makers out there. When they're making these pieces of jewelry to sell them on, you want to make a bit of money out of it, don't you? Well done. If you do want to come in and get more than one of these deals, just go for it. Um, satin cord or sparkly suede? What's your favourite, um, Deb? Do you know, I absolutely loved that... Um sparkly suede it really because that's the pack the colors that are in the kit yeah, that yeah, we did yeah. earlier um and i first time I, I saw them was on saturday um and then when i received them in the kit i was yes yeah they're excellent. gorgeous aren't they because they're they're absolutely gorgeous and you know the what, this and the sparkle and with the sparkle yeah definitely and with yeah. a suede cord it's one of those cords that's going to get better the more you wear it it's going to yeah. get it's going to look better and feel better a bit like leather yeah. isn't it yeah it will yeah um, just gorgeous but also it it's got quite a nice contrast um on the different sides which i didn't notice to begin with yeah it does but doesn't once it once i'd made it up um so you've got more variety coming through when when you macrame or kumahimo it yeah, I think what they're referring to is that is the top and the bottom of the cord is, yes. um, is it's got that sparkly element. The sides of the cord has got more of that um, uh, that more of that matte suede finish, which um, w which you're probably more familiar with. But the top and the bottom of the cord is um, beautiful and sparkly, which is what Deb was saying earlier on. When you do macrame or kumihimo with these, it doesn't matter. You don't have to work to try and get the sparkly edge out because because both um, edges are sparkly, which is fantastic. Yeah. So you don't have to kind of try too hard, yes. as it yeah. were. Um, but do you know what Deb's right? It does feel absolutely incredible. It really, really does. And to have this with the satin cord, seven ninety five, fantastic. And these are relatively new varieties of satin cord, and really quite new varieties of suede cord as well. So you know, you're getting a great deal for something which is which is which hasn't been seen a lot on Jewelry Maker. Well done, gorgeous. Right. <sighs> I'm so excited. Ooh, drops. Drop it like it's hard. Drop it like it's hard. If you're loving these deals on Jewelry Maker, then drop it like it's hard. Drop it like it's hard. If you love Tiger's Eye and Moonstone, then drop it like it's hard. Drop it like it's hard. If you, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry. Don't know why I bother. Shouldn't I? Shouldn't I? Shouldn't bother. That's the thing. Shouldn't bother. Shouldn't get myself into these situations where I have to sing and finish a song off. Didn't we have a lovely day? The day we had the tiger's eye. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at this. Do you know what? I'm trying to count all these tiger's eyes whilst I'm talking to you. Um, which, uh, counting and talking of two things which really can't be done together. So why don't you have a look at this strand just whilst I count the amount of tiger's eyes on this. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 44, 46, 48, 50, 50, about 52 on this strand. That's a lot, isn't it? There's about 52 individually drilled tiger's eyes on this strand. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they gorgeous? Do you know what? I think on a crocheted necklace, on a beautiful organic crocheted necklace, these would look delicious. They're beautiful, aren't they? When you get drops of tigers out like this with a slightly tapered shape to them, it seems to magnify that um, 
uh, that chatoyancy, doesn't it? It really does seem to magnify it. Each and every one of these gemstones is completely unique. It's such a lovely, lovely strand to see. Now there's roughly 50 on this strand roughly 15 they've got those little silver colored space beads i don't know what they are um they won't be sterling silver but they're silver colored space beads so you've got uh, um you've got roughly 50 of these on the strand slightly graduated in size really really awesome whether you use these in a in a beautiful bubble ring or a charm bracelet or a gorgeous necklace really simple little drop earrings do you know what there there's another strand yeah another strand uh, this time white moonstone roughly 50 on this strand as well look at that they are beautiful aren't they can you see that gorgeous glow more of a white kind of glow through these rather than your uh, rather than your shiller really really beautiful so roughly in my hands here, I've got roughly a hundred gemstones. Now that's quite a lot, isn't it? That's quite a lot. Roughly a hundred gemstones. Okay, let's have a think about this, shall we? Take two, no, because we need to do it in odd numbers because gemstones look better in odd numbers, don't they? Take three of the moonstone and three of the tiger's eye, yeah? Okay, a pair of earrings featuring three moonstone, three tiger's eye, mixed up. What would be your rock bottom price? Rock bottom price. Fiver? A fiver? With maybe some plated findings? Fiver, yeah? Okay, so for three moonstone, three tiger's eye, pair of earrings, rock bottom price, five pounds, yeah? Do you wanna see the price? for both these strands together. That's roughly a hundred gemstones. Do you want to see your price for all of the gems you're going to be getting here? Boom. That means you only need to make a couple of pairs of earrings, sell them on for a fiver each, and you've already made a profit. Do you see? Isn't that awesome? And they're gonna sell. Every single time they're gonna sell because every single pair is going to be unique. You can make a load of pairs up and just put them out on your craft store. They, could, they would be the easiest earrings to make as well, just with some beading thread or, or with a selection of head pins. Absolutely fantastic. Now, Deb, I know this would take quite a while to do, but wouldn't it be lovely to make your own individual chain, handmade chain, and attach these gemstones on? I mean, that mm. would be the most delicious necklace, wouldn't it? It would, very yeah. extravagant. Yeah. And it would take a long, long time to make, but my yeah. word, it would just be incredible, wouldn't it? The two of them together work really nicely. They do, don't they? They, they really, really do. When I was looking at them earlier, I thought that the combination yeah. is, is lovely. And do you know, I think they go with silver, with yellow gold, with, um, with uh, rose gold, yeah. with antique bronze, they'd look nice as well. Yep. Or with a, a strand of turquoise, they'd look incredible as well. Very, very summer as well with yes. a strand of turquoise in there as well. I do like mixing the turquoise in with the browns and the mm. caramels. Yeah, it looks gorgeous, it really does. And you know what, judging by the amount of you coming through on the web and on the phone lines, you're clearly loving this as well, because I tell you what, for close to 100 genuine gemstones, not to mention which you've got all those spacer beads as well, which is great to see. Like I said, they're not gonna be uh, precious metal spacer beads, but they're spacer beads, and you can use them, use them however you want. But close to 100 genuine gemstones, all individual, all unique, for under seven pounds. It really is amazing. And why go elsewhere? Why go anywhere else other than jewellery maker? I can't think of a single reason why. I just feel sorry for lots of jewellery makers out there who, who don't know about jewellery maker, who um, just, just uh, kind of defeated and say, well, do you know what? I'll never be able to use genuine gemstones because they're too expensive. Well, this is proof. This is proof that genuine gemstones don't have to be expensive. Jenny from Suffolk's coming to get four packs of these. If you want to come in and multi-buy these, please go for it. Even if you want to make just a little, a little tiny pendant, just a, a tiny little pendant with a, how would you make a little pendant out of, out of each one of these? Just a piece of beading thread, maybe a, yep. just a really simple. You could use beading thread or you could use um, a fine, a wire, 0.4 Maybe wire. a head pin or something like that. A head pin, yep. And then you just make a loop on one end yeah. um, and wrap it round. A few times and it sort of makes bail 
It'll probably take about 45 seconds to make. Mm. And even if you sold those little individual charms, you could market them as charms or as pendants. They'd be nice as charms, yeah. S s sell them for a pound each. Perfect. Uh, Jody says, hi, Carol. I paid 6 95 for just a spacer bead, she <laughs> says. Yeah! There you are, Jody. Uh, Angie, Shona, Jennifer, Roger, you've all come in to get two lots of these as well. That's great to see. I think that's just incredible. I think that's just incredible. Really? <laughs> Jody, we're just going to send you the space bees. We're going to take all the gemstones off and just send you the space bees. I'm going to joke him about it. But do you know what I mean? It, it's just, it, it, it's incredible. For close to 100 gemstones that you're going to be getting here, 6 95 and when you put it into context, you know, making just a simple pair of earrings, selling them for a fiver, you'd only have to sell two pairs of earrings. You've already made a profit. It's amazing, isn't it? Well done. And not to mention, you've got a 30 day money back guarantee as well. You're they would so actually well make today. really um, <gasps> nice, dinky oh, yes, uh, flowers. Oh, lovely idea. Quite organic because they're all different shapes. Well, they're not all different shapes, but you know, they're all individual stones, yeah. aren't they? It would be, a, it, they look like a genuine flower because of course yeah. you're getting different sizes and shapes. Look at this! Made ah, by yeah, lovely. the lovely Sue, one of our budding beaders. Hi! Look at these! You can just make a load of these, sell them as individual pendants or individual charms. She, it looks like she's made her own chain here actually, which is really awesome. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> look at those earrings there as well. Yeah, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? You can make a sign next to uh, a little bowl of charms that you've made saying genuine gemstone charms, a pound. You're gonna have, you're gonna have a bun fight at your craft store. You really <laughs> will do. Pe a bun fight, a pair of earrings. <laughs> Not a bun fight, a bun fight. <laughs> no, not bun, bun, bun. I can hear them, they're getting rowdy in they there. They are getting really rowdy today, aren't they? I tell you what, <laughs> calm down, calm down, calm down. If you may, <laughs> sit down and stop wiggling your bottom. It's being very rude in there today. Bun fight. I tell you what, Karen from Greater Manchester, you've come in to get two of these, well done my darling. But quite seriously, these moonstone earrings here, um, Sue's used the um, spacer bead as well. How much would you sell those earrings for? If you sold those for less than twelve pounds, I, I I think you would be underselling yourself, honestly. And look how much the two strands are costing: six ninety-five for them both. That's for close to a hundred genuine gemstones. Amazing, amazing! Well done. I think that's tremendous. In fact, I want I want that bracelet. Isn't that gorgeous. Sell them for a pound each, couldn't you? Those little charms. Yeah. Why not? Even if it was fifty p per charm. Buy one, get one free. Why not? Pound, buy one, get one free. People love bog off deals, don't they? Buy one, get one free. <laughs> I'm a real, I'm a real sucker for things like that. So much so that I've got about three blocks of cheese in my, um, <laughs> in my freezer. Cause I've, I've been, I've been, succ I've succumbed to the buy one, get one free deals. I don't even know if you can freeze cheese. I think you, you can. can. You can. Makes it a bit more crumbly. Does it? Mm. Ooh, nice. How long to yeah. defrost a whole chicken, do you reckon? A good sized chicken. Leave it out the freezer for a day. Yeah. A day. Overnight. Okay. I've, got a, I've got a really mm. awesome chicken, a free range chicken in my freezer. I'm dying to eat it. <laughs> so I'll be able to eat it tomorrow night. Okay, so that's Thursday night. I'm out tomorrow night. Oh, no. Friday, Friday night, I'll do it Friday night. Anyway, you don't want to know what I'm going to eat for the rest of, for the, rest of the week. I've got faggots tonight. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to know that. You don't like faggots? No. Oh! Packets with gravy and peas and carrots. No? <laughs> no. You don't like faggots? Oh, they're tasty. I'm a bit funny about meat because I was a vegetarian for 30 years and I've really? only just recently. I can understand you, but you can't understand why you don't like faggots. Yeah. Then. Basically, it's basically offal on a plate, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not going near that. <laughs> anyway, something that I. Moving on. <laughs> moving on, moving swiftly on. <laughs> um, pink coated quartz. Oh, my word. This is an absolute beauty. This is a lesson in faceting, isn't it? Pink colour coated quartz, really, really beautiful. But when you get facets like this, it really becomes even more fascinating. Just gorgeous, isn't it? Twisted faceted rondelles of pink colour coated quartz. Um, 
when we uh, talk about gemstones, uh, particularly diamonds, generally colourless gemstones um, and diamonds, we sometimes talk about the four C's um, in genuine gemstone um, in, in, in the uh, gem world. Those four C's are cut, colour, carrot weight and clarity. Okay, those are the four C's. Um, with this particular strand, I'm going to talk about the four C's. So, colour. Well, you're getting a huge amount of colour. Dyed pink coloured coated quartz. I mean, this is this is strength. This is kind of like pink spinel kind of quality. Of course, it would go really beautifully with the pink spinel we bought you earlier on. Um, it, it, it's that kind of bubblegum fuchsia pink colour. So 10 out of 10 for colour, definitely. Let's talk about the cut. Well, the cut for me is the major highlight. Um, a twisted faceted rondelle. Wow. I mean, this looks like something which has evolved over over many kind of brainstorming sessions. Can you imagine how difficult it is to achieve this kind of cut? Not only a, 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 a faceted gemstone, but a twisted faceted rondelle gemstone. I mean, that is really quite incredible. Let's talk about the clarity. Unbelievable clarity here, full of adamantine luster, which is the kind of thing you normally see uh, with a diamond. It's the kind of word we attribute normally with diamonds, but you are getting that awesome clarity. And let's talk about the carrot weight. 105 carats of quartz here, which is quite incredible. So the four C's, it's got it all wrapped up with a big pink bow on, hasn't it? 100%. Now, a strand like this where you're getting really specialist faceting and an awesome color and a brilliant carrot weight and unbelievable clarity. This has got to be one of those strands that's going to be kind of what, 30 pounds plus, yeah? No, in fact, no way near. In fact, let's take this under 15 pounds. Let's just do it. Today, your deal today, Look at this, £11.95p. What a treat! What a treat! Now, when you talk about using gemstones individually, like we were just with that beautiful deal for, the, um, uh, for those uh, drops of Tiger's Iron Moonstone, just one of these as a pendant, one of them being used on a pendant, or two of them in a pair of earrings, that would be the kind of uh, a suite of jewellery, wouldn't it? Where if, if you use three of them, two in a pair of earrings, one and a pendant, that would be the kind of sweetie jewelry that you could easily sell 15, 20 pounds. Easily, easily, easily. I personally would set these with yellow gold. I don't normally wear yellow gold, but I think to get the most out of this strand and to give it that pop that it deserves, I think you need to set these with yellow gold. And what you could set it with silver. It would look great with silver. I personally would set it with yellow gold though. It's just so beautiful. It's almost like a Bollywood fuchsia, isn't it, mm. um, Deb? It's gorgeous. It's like that kind of Indian summer kind of look, isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm not usually pink into pinks but that's a pink on the blue end it is of yeah the pink spectrum it is yeah which i i really like um and also the faceting on that it's, it's unbelievable is, isn't it yeah it's amazing the the faceting not only gives you lots of internal brilliance and kind of uh, helps to release that internal brilliance that internal white light but of course as you can see here those strips of white that luster that surface luster is just unbelievable beautiful and it's beautiful mm. because the quality of the gemstone is there the quality of the fasting is there it's just a lovely lovely strand here it's bright it's beautiful it's intense and i tell you what if you want your jewelry to stand out oh unbelievable and deb was talking a little bit earlier on about putting um uh, gemstones with um or different colors with turquoises this would look unbelievable with turquoise and teal greens and teal blues oh yeah it's beautiful isn't it? it's just gorgeous really really beautiful so what was that dion yeah We've got a kit coming up next. It's absolutely amazing. We've definitely saved the best kit to last today. Oh, mama. It's absolutely gorgeous. So eleven ninety five for your gorgeous pink colour coated quartz there. Really beautiful. What was that? Loads of people agreeing with my faggots. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> Wendy says, ooh, Carol, love a faggot. Reminds me of childhood, Wendy and South, Wendy and South Wales. Um, I love, I just, I love faggots. My husband got me into them. Um, he, uh, you, you know, this ones you get in the tin tray, which are made by uh, yeah. um, Mr. Mr. Crane. The yeah. inside of your um, head. They're, they're, uh, they're nice. But I tell you what, I got some the other day from a, from a farm shop. They are unbelievable. So thank you for agreeing with my faggot comment. <laughs> I do love faggots. I love food, general food. Right, this next kit <coughs> is my favourite. This next kit is going to sell out. This next kit has got some beautiful extras with it. This kit is quite simply called Goddess and it is unbelievable. I don't know where to start with this. I don't know whether to start with us looking at the jewellery or us looking at the extras. In fact, let's start by looking at the jewellery that Deb has made because it is, it is un 
it is it is such a beautiful kit it's right at my street this has got some of my favorite colors it's got my favorite precious metal in it i just love it beautiful incredible warmth beautiful expensive uh look to it it's got such a it's got such a it's got such an expensive air to it hasn't it beautiful rose gold look at that heart pendant it's just beautiful now that green gemstone is what you think it is i'll come to it in a moment but it is what you think it is mm. Mm -mm -mm. right now first strand you ready for this double strand so the equivalent of two strands the most gorgeous nuggets white topaz an 85 centimeter strand of white topaz clarity beauty it's like crushed ice isn't it it's absolutely awesome this in any kit is going to be a massive massive addition it really really is this in any kit at all is going to be a huge addition beautiful crushed ice white topaz nuggets it's gorgeous isn't it stunning second strand matte finish nuggets oh these feel awesome i love 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 this because it's a matte finish strand they feel very very silky to touch now this is multicolor topaz matte finish nuggets um i don't think i've ever bought you matte finish nuggets of uh multicolor topaz before this is really awesome and can you see when you put these two strands together the almost blues the kind of glacial blues coming out of the white topaz strand and these gorgeous um now these are almost um there it's, it's almost like a canary yellow kunzite kind of quality so quite a subtle yellow or even a yellow fluorite tone coming out of this multicolor um, um uh, topaz strand beautiful um matte finish silky smooth nuggets now to go with these two strands is a green gemstone strand and this is what you think it is you know sometimes when we talk about green gemstone strands and we say yeah it, it, it looks like emerald doesn't it? it's got that kind of emerald green quality it looks like natural emerald this this is genuine emerald look at the size of this strand it's enormous it's incredible look at the color the intensity can you see how intense this is this is such an intense strand of genuine emerald now can i just double check where this emerald's from please oh my word indian emerald indian emerald genuine nuggets of deep dark almost santa teresina in color um, emerald almost Colombian in color now these are gigantic nuggets of emerald you're getting here huge nuggets of emerald and I just want you to imagine one of these emeralds just maybe this one or maybe the second biggest one maybe that one or that one oh I like that one there that in a ring I'd like you to imagine that in a ring and I'd like you to kind of think about what kind of price you would charge for that in a ring an emerald ring it would have to be for a genuine emerald ring clarity or no clarity minimum price for me for a genuine emerald ring minimum price would have to be 30 pounds minimum minimum for me bear that in mind now, you're getting some amazing extras with this kit. Um, you're gonna be getting your threading pack with monofilament beading thread and elastic. There it is. 
lovely color beading thread with this one like a almost like a bronzy color beading thread which is really lovely it goes really well with the um with the gemstones i think really really awesome you're going to be getting uh, rose gold plated copper findings as well 115 of your rose gold plated copper findings there they are you're getting a meter of chain uh you're going to be getting head pins crimp beads crimp bead covers toggle class t-bar class earring findings extender chains the lot 115 findings there yeah now the rose gold, um, rose gold is my favourite precious metal, emerald is my favourite gemstone. The two go together beautifully, which is a good deal because you've got copper wire in this kit as well. Oh yeah. You've got um, 10 metres of 0.6 millimetre gauge copper wire in this kit as well. 0.6 millimetre gauge wire being perfect for um, weave work. Even some of your framework as well, it really is the most fantastic gauge of why you can work hard on it very, very easily as well. 0.6 and 0.8 millimeter gauge wires are, tend, to be, tend to be the favorites amongst our guest designers. This is 0.6 millimeters in gauge and it's that copper color to go with, of course, the findings and of course, to go beautifully with the gemstones. Now, you think that's it? No, there's more. Now, this, oh, is this, um, is this, is this described as aluminium um, diamond chain? What's the plating on this? No, it's not, is it? Really? Can we double check that? Is that what it says? No, 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 that must be, no, that must be in the findings pack. That's in the findings, yeah? So you've got 115 findings there with a metre of your chain, a metre of rose gold plated copper chain. You've also got your T-bar clasp. Oh my word, really? A meter of chain here. This is diamond cut chain. On a smaller scale, diamond cut chain, when you turn it, it sparkles. It sparkles because of the way the chain uh, links have been cut. So that hence, hence, the, uh, hence the description, diamond cut chain. Now this chain is aluminium. Am I right in thinking this is gold plated aluminium chain? I cannot believe, I cannot believe this. This is gold plated aluminium chain, a meter of it. Look at the size of the links you are getting here. This is unbelievable. I cannot believe we have got this in a kit today. To have a meter of chain in a kit of, of this kind of size, amazing. This is aluminium chain, okay? The top of each one of these links is slightly cut, so you can open and close it really, really easily. Never before have I bought you gold-plated aluminium chain. This is a first for me. This is very, very special. To have this in a kit, to have emerald in a kit, to have two strands of topaz in a kit, to have 115 findings in a kit and to have 10 meters of 0.6 millimeter gauge copper wire in a kit. But for me, for me, the, for me, the absolute winner in this kit is of course the diamond cut chain, a meter of gold plated aluminum diamond cut chain. To have it all in a kit and to bring you the entire kit today for this price is unbelievable. This kit is going to be a sellout. Do you want to see your incredible price point today? I honestly, I don't know how we've done that. I honestly am looking at this kit and thinking, how? How on earth have we done this? This is unbelievable. Unbelievable quality. Unbelievable gemstones. Unbelievable extras. 24.95 just just let's backtrack a bit just for one of these emeralds for one of these emeralds in a ring i think minimum minimum 
for that ring, minimum that I would charge would be 25 pounds, minimum. The whole kit is under 25 pounds, the whole kit. This kit is, is selling so quickly. Oh my word, right, let's head over to Deb before this kit sells out. This really is unbelievable. Bonkers. Right, let's head over to Deb. Deb, talk to me about this kit. Well, We've I definitely saved it. the best to last, haven't we? It's amazing. It is amazing. I loved the um, the big chunky chain. It's amazing. It oh, it. it's gorgeous. Emerald's my favourite stone. Oh, and mine. Mm. That's nice. So, um, yeah, I was in heaven, really. Yeah, <laughs> it's gorgeous. The rose gold goes so beautifully with the emerald, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yep. Perfect colour, I think, yeah. with the emerald. I, I, do you know what? I'm looking at all these beautiful pieces of jewellery. For me, it's this. Mm. This. It's this incredible pendant. How long did that take you to make, Deb? Be honest. It actually didn't take very long. What? Really? Um, that would take me a day to make. Goodness because me. Because it's, it's just twisting the wires together, mm. forming it into a shape. Wow. And then you're basically just stitching with the wire. So stitching your stones on. But that is incredible. Sorry, we will show you a shot of it in just a second. We're just getting everything re, um, uh, um, reorganised. But this, <laughs> this, um, is it that way round or it, that way round? Um, it can go either, but if I you turn it, it back the other way, so you've got more sort of encrusted yeah. on one side, <gasps> and on the other side, I've um, I've put some of the stars ah. into the wire work. Um, oh, it's Because gorgeous. when you're wearing a pendant, they twist and turn. Of course they do, yeah, um, of course they do. So I think it needs to work on both sides. But Look at that. It, pr it probably took me a couple of hours in total That's from beautiful. picking up the reel of wire to finishing it. You've, you've made a, a, a beautiful little pair of earrings here which are so simple. I mean, anyone could make those, Deb, anyone. Yeah, yeah. And even, even this pair here, yes. very, very simple. Anyone can, I mean, these are emerald earrings. And if I think, if, if on your jewelry making stall, if you sold those for less than 20 pounds, I think mm. you would be doing yourself a disservice. I honestly do. People would question whether it was genuine emerald. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean they would, wouldn't they? Rightly or wrongly, they would. Um, the necklace you've made here is absolutely stunning. Talk to me about these beads here. What are these? <laughs> That's the, um, the extender chain. Oh, you are clever. So. You're so clever. You can you can um, do it without the chain on. Mm -hmm. Take the chain off if mm. you want to, and then you've just got the flat bead. Mm. Um, but I I cut some of them, um, the ends off some of them, and oh, use them. And, yeah, so that's leaving the chains on. Looks so good with the emerald. Doesn't look so good with the emerald. Um, I have to say though, Deb, I can't go too much further without looking at this piece here. Check this ring out. This is what we're going to see the demo on in just a couple of seconds, but just check that out. I want that ring. In fact, I'm, <laughs> You'll have I'm to about, fight me for it. I'm going to steal <laughs> that ring. I don't care. I'll, I'll fight yeah. you for it. Okay. I'll fight you for it. It is absolutely... Look at this. Look at the crimp... Look at the way Deb has used the crimp beads on this ring. It is unbelievable. I can't wait to see how you make this. Uh, but let's talk about this chain as well, this chunky gold-plated chain. This is... I can't Works quite believe we've got ways. that in this kit. It's amazing. Oh! Take that off. Then you've just got Ooh. that. So you've just got the chain here, or you can attach. You put these Ooh, on. Ooh, nice. And they oh, just, you just hook it on. Just hook on, because these are the bits that came from um, the, the extender chain. Extender chain. You're so clever. they just hook in. She's a clever lady. Yeah, that and you looks can great. Then attach that to the charm bracelet mm -hmm. and it makes another necklace if you use Ooh, nice. that as, as around your neck. You can see how that's hooked on there. Clever, clever, clever. Right. I wanna see this ring. Okay. I want to see how you do this ring, do this <laughs> ring, do this ring. Right, and then I'm going to nick the ring, by the way. I'm going to take it. What size are you? Uh, I'm a size N on my middle finger, a size K on my ring finger. If anyone oh. feels like making me a ring. It'll fit. Will it? <laughs> yeah. Booyah! Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. How do we do this then? Okay. So, I've wrapped the wire around the ring mandrel about 
six times. This is the why you get in the kit. So, um, and I start off with it quite big mm -hmm. because I, I want it to, um, to end up at around about your average end size. Mm -hmm. So I've wrapped it um, five times, added on the stone, the topaz, the frosted mm -hmm. topaz, just pop one on. So that's all fairly standard up to that point. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I've got two tails of wire springing out. Uh -huh. um, I'll uh, just pop an emerald on one of them. And it's Beautiful perfect. emerald. You're working with emerald, Deb. It's amazing. It's amazing. You're working with genuine emerald. This is, this is, this is it, isn't it? It's, there's one thing saying that you're a jewellery maker and you work with genuine gemstones. It's quite another thing saying that you work with that emerald you work with emerald topaz and oh it's, yeah yeah it's daft um right so the size of that emerald massive piece huge so just place it it's quite an organic mm. design yeah um, just just place it where it, where you think it works um with your your other stones and then um you need to just feed your wire mm -hmm back through any loops just so that you can sorry I've got a kink in there that's all right give it a wiggle right and it will come through lie it flat because it wants to turn and I want it flat hold it with your finger mm -hmm. and just pull it until it's in place and then you just wrap around the stones to secure them so I built up the design to a point where I had three emeralds on. Mm -hmm. um, I won't do that now and I'll just show you. It's almost like bezel setting with the yeah. crimp beads. Look at this. So you take your wire and just... Oh. It looks a bit like a flower yeah, as it well does. I thought, Love quite it. floral but abstract mm. at the same time. So use the end of the wire like a needle and just pick up however many crimp Ooh, beads. Oh, clever, okay. That's what, it's like one of the beading techniques that really that you use for the beading loom. Mm -hmm. um, okay, and test out, I've got quite a huge stone here, mm -hmm. so I'm not sure how many it's gonna take, probably all of them. Okay. So um, I wrapped around once, and then I came up through my wire and added some more. So what you can do, if I can find the gap there, um, the crimp beads twice. So to make, crikey, this is a huge stone. So, so I'll just show you, if I get that wire out the way there. Yeah, go for it. I'll just show you how to um, get it to go into a complete circle. Um, I haven't got enough crimp beads on here. That's okay. But I'll let you off this once. The principle is that you feed your wires back through because you're not having this ring, you're having the one with all the crimps on. <laughs> there you go. So you just feed it through your crimp beads mm -hmm. um, and it pulls it into oh, a circle. Great. I needed another two or three that's okay that we get the idea probably. and uh, it's but such a lovely way of using the crimps yeah so that's then and and then you just tuck your tails under um and finish it off as normal isn't that gorgeous and this is the finished article which is now mine. Uh, so the gorgeous <laughs> goddess jewelry kit uh, with rose gold plated copper findings. This incredible chain, emerald, the lot. It's the most gorgeous kit. I honestly think we've saved the best to last. It's just so beautiful. And the jewelry that Deb has made is gorgeous. Uh, that ring is amazing, though. It's just amazing. Oh, right. We've got to go and draw the wall of fame. Got to Ooh. go and draw the wall of fame. I'll see you over there. Race you. Let's release those prize-winning balls. Uh, right, let's not. Uh, right, last future readout, <laughs> number five. This is from Alice. 
who says, hi everyone, taken the plunge and decided to send in my first entry, a set consisting of three, uh, sorry, a set consisting of rose quartz and rose gold uh, plated findings, all from Jewelry Maker. I've been on three courses, which were all terrific, and in the process of booking some more. Loving my new business venture. Here's hoping for the first lucky win. Good luck all, Alice. Thanks, Alice. Which courses did you come on, Alice? Be nice to know. Lovely moonstone set there, gorgeous. Mm. Best of luck. Okay, number three is oh, um, Amy from Herefordshire. Hi, jewellery maker. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I've used wire and various gemstones, all nice. from JM. My favourite's the pearl and quartz charm ring on the left, which I've kept for myself. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, that's the best thing to do, really. Um, can you please say hello to my jewellery making friend, Steph, who I know will be watching this. Hi, Steph. And that's from Amy. Hi, Steph. Hello. Hi, there we go. Um, fantastic. Now this, um, this is absolutely beautiful. I don't mm. know how she's done this, he or she. It's uh, Nicola in Belfast. Uh, number six, have a look at this. Hi all, hope you're all well. Had some fun with an old pair of jeans <laughs> and just a smidge off my lace curtains. Oh, I love it, that's fantastic. <laughs> a smidge off my lace curtains and finished with white uh, quartzite, I think from an old blast from the past bead box. I'm liking the fabric jewellery idea, especially coming into summer. Yes, we will have. Uh, yes, we will have one. Oh, uh, summer. Hopefully, mm. yeah. Um, I think the sari ribbons may well be in my basket soon as well. Hope you like it. Good luck to all, Nicola. Nicola, that is gorgeous. Sorry. I'll, I'll read your joke out again. I'm liking the fabric jewellery idea, especially with, uh, especially coming into summer. Yes, we will have one. There we go. <laughs> So I ruined your joke, Nicola, I'm sorry. Um, but you know what? <laughs> Fabric and gemstones, love that idea, don't you? Mm, yeah. I like the idea of people cutting their curtains up around the country. Yes. Make sure you cut out a middle, out. a middle, a m two, two little holes with your eyes poking through. <laughs> Come Go on. Number four, okay, is um, Helen Steeples. Morning all jewellery makers. This is my second Laura Binding inspired Viking weave necklace and pendant made with gold jm wire and blue banded agate love 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 the show oh i think i am a little bit obsessed <laughs> lots oh. of love helen's steepless from i hope i've said that right steeples from i'm um, rubbish at reading aren't don't i don't worry about it from she's good at jewelry making Barnsley. that's what matters <laughs> <laughs> oh, number seven here, gorgeous. Uh, this is from Anne Marie in Somerset, who says this week's Wall of Fame offer is orange shell bead necklace and matching earrings. I can see this being worn with a nice maxi dress. Ooh, as summer mm. fast approaches. Mm. Anne Marie, I completely agree. That with a maxi dress, gorgeous, gorgeous. Has it got earrings with it or just a necklace? Mm. Oh, earrings yeah, that's, as well, yeah. That's, got earrings. that's lovely. Thank you. Right, should we draw the Wall of Fame winner? Do you want to draw the winner or the runner up? I'll do the runner up. Thank you, Carol. Right. Sorry, what did you say? Win winner or runner up? I'll do runner up. Okay, so we do runner up first. Or is it winner first? Runner up first. Runner. Hang on, we need to get that one in. Oh, it's locked. Oh, here we go. Hang on, let's get that one in. Here we go. Right. Let's draw the runner up first. No looking. No looking. Just take one. The runner up for this week's Wall of Fame is ticket number. Do, 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 do. Three, two, three! Who? Brenda. Brenda? Sinead? Brenda. Brenda. Congratulations. <laughs> Who? Sinead. Brenda. Right, you've won a hundred. <laughs> you've won fifty pounds credit to your jewelry maker account. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. And this week's winner of the Wall of Fame is, oh, hang on. It's not very good. I'm not made, I'm not cut out for this. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It is number 464. Lynn Ward, congratulations. You've won 100 pounds credited to your jury maker account. Mm. Congratulations, ladies, well done. <laughs> You've both won uh, the Wall of Fame, so 50 pounds credited and 100 pounds credited for uh, Lynn as well. Fantastic, well done to you. Right, are you ready for some moonstone? I'm going to carry on wearing this ring, by the way. Sorry. No, it looks good on you. Thanks, yeah. love. Right, time for moonstone, everyone. 
you. I better take the ring off, just pop it down there. So Deb can't get it. There we go. <laughs> Rainbow Moonstone graduated faceted pear drops. Absolute. Oh, look at that chatoyancy. Look at that blue. Sorry, not chatoyancy. Shiller. Look at that blue shiller coming out of these incredible gemstones. Can you see? Can you see what I see? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Isn't it stunning? Rainbow Moonstone. Now, we bought you uh, Rainbow Moonstone today in graduated, uh, sorry, in uh, faceted rondelles, that beautiful uh, strand with loads and loads of clarity. How much was that, Leon? What, the first strand? Was it really? 19.95? That sounds really, really low. Was it really 1995? Because that was 1995. We then bought you an incredible strand of bezel set in sterling silver, uh, rainbow moonstone faceted, uh, checkerboard faceted um, uh, pear drops. They were 17.95. This is 65 carats of rainbow moonstone, graduated, faceted. The bezel set moonstone sold out. Is this strand going to sell out? I should imagine so. Yeah. How many are you getting? Three, six, nine, twelve about 13 on this strand. Graduated, faceted pear drops of Rainbow Moonstone. Would you like to see the price? You're not gonna believe your eyes. Today, 65 carats of Rainbow Moonstone, one of the most beautiful members of the Felsbar family. Individual pendants, gorgeous pairs of earrings. Here's your deal today. You're gonna love it, baby, you're gonna love it. 9.95, 9.95, it's under 10 pounds, under 10 pounds, 9.95. One of the most beautiful members of the Feldspar family, something with so much gorgeous quality about it. Oh yeah, beautiful, stunning, Jenny with Jemson here, look at that beautiful fasting there as well, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? The most gorgeous blue shiller, look at that. The most wonderful shell. And what you're, you're, you're literally seeing is light shining into the gemstone, reflecting off the inner layers inside that gorgeous gemstone and then reflecting back at you. Reflecting all those gorgeous blues and peaches and pinks. Really awesome strand there for under a tenner. Honestly, if you had just one of these in a pendant, what could you sell that pendant for? The whole strand with roughly 13 gemstones on is under 10 pounds. Pretty much without even making pieces of jewelry, you've already made a profit. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Not too much of which you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. If you want to come in and get the moonstone we bought you right at the beginning of the show today, which was uh, 1995, go for it. Please just go for it. You know, in your bridal pieces with pearls. We bought you some beautiful pearls yesterday. Uh, Lucy bought you some beautiful silvery colored pearls yesterday. If you want to set it with gemstones like that, perfect. But similarly, if you want to put it with deep, dark, genuine gemstones as well, you're gonna get equally as beautiful a look. Valerie's coming to get two of these, well done to you. If you do want to multi-buy, just go for it, well done. Get two or three of these, uh, get them home, decide which ones you want to keep, send the others back. You're more than welcome to do that. Lynn from Tyne and Wear. Lynn, OMG, I can't believe I've won the WAF. Uh, I never win anything. Thank you much. Uh, th uh, thank you so much, Carol. Kiss Lynn. Lynn, it's our pleasure. Congratulations to you, my love. 100 pounds credited to your jewelry maker account. That's amazing. What are you gonna spend it on? You're gonna spend it on this strand of gorgeous moonstone? I would. Beautiful strand of moonstone. Yeah. What well on Barbara and Catherine? And v uh, uh, Vianetta? As in the ice cream. What a beautiful name. Well done, uh, under 10 pounds, well done to all of you coming through to get this now. And you're still gonna get a 30 day money back guarantee and you're only paying 2.95 paying people order as well. Less than a tenner for gorgeous, stunning rainbow moonstone. Well done. Oh, well done, gorgeous. Yeah, now we have amethyst coming up within the next 10 minutes. Green amethyst. This gemstone normally, I say normally, demands when it's of when it's got this kind of clarity when it's got this kind of color it normally demands quite a high price on jewelry maker you are not going to believe your eyes when you see the deal we're going to offer you for this incredible strand of green amethyst it's coming up in about 10 minutes time quick sip of water right this water bottle is rubbish it's absolute rubbish right my husband bought it me for Christmas. It just doesn't work. 
down it, down it. Right, clasps. Here we go. Now, I did say these were coming up on today's show, didn't I? Do you remember we bought you that amethyst um, chain, the early bird? Yeah. Um, and I said, all you need to do with this is um, attach a chain onto it um, and bish bash bosh, there you go. It's going to look gorgeous. And I said, we do have clasps coming up on today's show. Here they are. Now, these are magnetic clasps. Let me just take one of these apart just so I can show you because these are absolutely gorgeous. I love these. Do you know what these always, um, the, the strike a chord with me with, with regards to making pieces of jewellery for weddings. Um, if you think about making pieces of jewellery for flower girls or for bridesmaids, quite often you have your hair up, don't you, when you're, um, where you see bridesmaids and flower girls with their hair up in a beautiful um, chignon, maybe with some beautiful little flowers and, 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 um, and bits and pieces in their hair. Um, and you might wear a lovely necklace. Um, so you can see the back of your neckline um, and you might want a nice extended chain down the back of your neck and have a really nice clasp and everything. Um, these are the kind of clasps that I think really do make a difference to your jewellery. They are uh, 95 sterling silver. Here's the first part of the clasp, which is the bottom part of the clasp. It's got a little uh, eyelet there so you can attach your gemstones on there. And you can see just under the tweezer there is a little magnet. I'm just going to pop that on the desk there like that. Okay. Oh, hang on, they're stuck to the tweezers. There we go. And then what I'm going to do now is get the other part of the class, which is right here. Because I want to show you how strong this magnet is. It's amazing. Here you are. Here's the other part of the clasp, which has got a beautiful rosebud on there. I don't know what it's taken to make. And it's precious metal, don't forget. It's sterling silver. Okay, and you get the clasp there. Here we go. And you just simply do that. Way! See that? Amazing. And you get three of them. Okay? They are 925 sterling silver all the same size they're all silver and they're all that beautiful rosebud design now we're going to give you a special deal on these today these can make the difference between your jewelry looking um homemade and handmade you want your jewelry to look handmade obviously because um it, it shows the level of skill that goes into it but you don't want it to necessarily look homemade especially when you're selling your pieces on you want it to look really nice and professional now these are back in stock we're going to give you a fantastic deal on these today. You've got a pack of three of these. They're all sterling silver. Your deal today is awesome. I would multi-buy these because seven ninety-five for three for three of these is quite incredible. Bearing in mind they're magnetic, bearing in mind you've got that beautiful design on there, and bearing in mind they're ninety-five sterling silver as well. That is absolutely amazing, isn't it? Well done to uh, Barbara. You've come to get a couple of these. Well done to you. Um, now, Deb, when you're coming to sell pieces of jewellery on. Um, I think when you have a clasp like this, whether it's on a necklace or a bracelet, um, of course you can make it almost into a detachable necklace um, so you have a kind of a detachable mm. um, length to it so you can make it longer or shorter. But when you have a magnetic clasp like this and a really decorative magnetic clasp, I think you can charge even you can well, no, saying charging even more is a really negative thing to say isn't it but you can you, you you could expect to pay more for a piece of jewelry that has a clasp like this because it's yeah. so decorative it's beautiful isn't it yeah it adds it's, so much to the design it does and it's it's quite a heavy weight of silver in there actually. yeah absolutely you you know it's um and if and it and therefore it makes your piece of jewelry feel nice of course heavy, it does yeah and, you know it feels like a quality piece absolutely yeah like you've you've put care into it so you can charge more yeah um there's four grams of silver across these four mm. Mm. yeah yeah that is a lot isn't it it is yeah, most rings lot. don't tend to have that yeah exactly that's you a know. good point actually um when you've got when you've got sterling silver of this kind of weight as deb says it's going to make your jewelry feel heavier feel more substantial um, and you can expect to pay more. You can expect to charge that little bit more as well. And you're not you're not ripping people off. You're just you're just giving them precious metal and giving them something of beauty and saying, look, this has got a little bit extra added to it. So I'm going to charge a little bit extra. I'm going to expect you to pay a little bit extra. They've got the 925 stamp on there. It won't have a hallmark because there's not over seven grams of silver in this. Um, but it's going to have a 95 stamp on here, which you can just see um, just below that little eyelet there, uh, which which signifies yeah, that is 95 sterling silver. Patricia's mm. coming to get three. Uh, three packs. A corner in Essex has, so has Lynn in West Yorkshire, so is uh, Rosin, uh, so is Layla, so is Barbara, so is uh, Ulilla as well. You've all come in to multi buy these. Please do multi buy. I think with the wedding season upon us, making pieces of jewellery where you've got, where you've got, um, 
uh, clasps like this, it, it, it's always going to it's always going to add that extra finishing touch, that little special finishing touch. Whether you're using pearls, rose quartz, uh, moonstone, spinel, you know, just gorgeous. And do you know what? If you came in today to get the beautiful gemstone chain of amethyst. All you need to do is just have one of those clasps on and there is a beautiful bracelet or anklet or, 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 or necklace right in front of you. Diane, well done to you as well. You've come in to get three packs of these. Anita's coming to get two of these as well. Uh, with the bezel set moonstone, oh my word. With the bezel set moonstone or even with these moonstones, with these beautiful moonstones here, which were 1995, mm. you know, just a simple that bracelet really with a clasp pretty. like that. Yeah. Wouldn't it just? It would. And then, and then all of beautiful. a sudden, you've got a beautiful moonstone bracelet that's a little bit, a little bit better, a little bit different because it's got that gorgeous magnetic clasp on. It's got that really awesome magnetic clasp. Not to mention which, um, these these kind of clasps are great if you have a little one. Uh, my my um, seven month old daughter loves pulling on my necklaces and loves pulling mm -hmm. on uh, pendants that I'm wearing and pulling on earrings that I'm wearing. If you've got a magnetic clasp rather than a lobster claw clasp, if your little one does pull that necklace or that bracelet off chances are the clasp isn't going to break because it's magnetic so rather than it being a lobster claw clasp which 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 can be compromised if it's pulled on too much um chances are it's just going to snap open well done lots of you still coming through for those well done it looks like those are going to sell out within the next few seconds but please do keep holding those lines there are still a few of those left so don't hang up stay where you are right ribbon no not ribbon space beads flower power Tie a red ribbon round the old oak tree. Right, so, spacer beads. Here we go. Now, we were talking about these spacer beads earlier on in the kits that we've had today. And having them is awesome. Now, Deb, you used, uh, you used um, some of these little flower beads earlier on that mm. were in the kit. Um, you used them as a, just a little bead cap, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Just, it just it just gives that little final flourish, doesn't it? It's it's the finishing touch, isn't it? It's just mm. a little flash of um, light. Yeah, almost, absolutely. With it, it gives it gives like a little uh, metallic flash, doesn't it? And I think that in in um, in jewellery, uh, when you use precious metal and when you use little flashes of metal, and it's not necessarily just for the mechanics of the piece of jewellery, but when you use it as a as a little accessory, as a little accent, I think it can really make a difference to your jewellery, can't it? Now you've got um, 925, uh, sorry, yeah, nine, these are rose gold, wow. Oh, they're rose gold plated, right, okay, because I was gonna say, yes, yeah, yeah, so they're rose gold plated 925 sterling silver and 925 sterling silver. 20 in each, so 20 in the rose gold plated sterling silver, 20 in the sterling silver, uh, so that's 40 of your beautiful flower accent beads in total. Um, use them as little bead caps, use them as little spacer beads. In fact, if, could you, um, Deb, if you have a second, could you pass me a couple of pieces of jewellery where you've used these little yeah. flower beads? That would be yeah. lovely. Oh, you glued one, one on, didn't you? That would be nice to see as well. We glued that one on with the polymer. Sorry, I'm giving Deb loads of things to do. She's in the middle of bead looming at the moment. <laughs> Sorry, love. That's all right. In the middle of using a bead oh, loom. I've got that one uh, as right, well. so 40 of these accent beads, uh, uh, these spacer beads in total. Thanks, Deb. That's awesome. Oh, That's yeah, good. Here places. we go. And you can see how she's used them across here. So she's glued them onto this clasp here, which I think looks awesome. And she's using these little spacer beads there as well, which look really, really lovely. See, it just finishes off that piece of jewelry, just makes it look that little bit more professional. Adds that, adds that little bit of detail. Oh, she's using them as we speak with the uh, with the bicones of the amethyst that we gave her as part of her challenge. I like what she's done there. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's so gorgeous. And then another one here um, being used as spacer beads here as well. Lovely. Really, really pretty. Thanks for that, Deb. That's gorgeous. Okay. Um, so, 40 of these in total. So 20 of the rose gold plated silver, 20 of the sterling silver. We're gonna give you a great deal. I've already got people waiting on the phones. I've already got people multi-buying. Here's your deal today. Boom! 9.95 for 40 precious metal beads. Simple, 40 precious metal beads for under 10 pounds. Isn't that gorgeous? 20 of your rose gold plated silver, 20 of your silver under 10 pounds. And again, because they've got because your piece of jewelry will have precious metal in it, um, and it's got precious metal accents in it, um, is it something you could uh, possibly look to charge more for? Do you know what? I think you probably could. Mm. I think you could probably expect to pay more for it as well. 
you know, just just because it's got precious metal qualities um, um, incorporated in the design. And do you know what looks nice? Just just two or three of these on a single leather cord, just as uh, just on a bracelet, just a leather cord with three of these little spacer beads on, and it would just look gorgeous. It would look really really pretty. Just three of them there, maybe two of the rose gold plated and one of the sterling silver, just on a simple leather cord. And there's a beautiful bracelet for you with a little slip knot. You know, it would look really, really gorgeous. 9 95 for 40 of those beads there. And of course, you're still going to get a 30 day money back guarantee. But I honestly, I would say to multi buy beads like this because you will end up using them. You'll say, oh, that looks nice. Oh, that looks really, really nice. Um, and, and you'll end up using more and more and more of them. So do bear that in mind. What well a 9 95 for 40 of those beautiful beads there. Oh, what are you going to use them for? They're gorgeous, aren't they? Awesome. Well done. So, You've got your 30-day money-back guarantee. You're only paying 2 95 pain pain per order. If you want to add anything else to your order that we've already bought you today, go for it. Um, and do you know what? My favourite my favorite way of using them is, is, is my new favourite way of using them is just sticking them on like that. It's not that great. Uses a spacer bead there. Uses a bead cap there. Sorry, Dan, Dan, the cameraman. <laughs> See that? Uses a bead cap there. Isn't that awesome? Really simple. Really easy. Just looks great though, doesn't it? Just looks awesome and it gives that piece of jewelry. You see, this piece of jewelry without those little spacer beads, it would be wonderful. It would be wonderful, but you, it, it wouldn't be, what those spacer beads do is they kind of break up the design a little bit. They kind of break up the density of the gemstones. Don't you think? Adds a bit of light, adds a bit of reflective quality. And as, and as, um, and as um, Dev quite rightly said, it gives it that little bit of a sparkle, that little bit of a flash. There'll be no flashing here, thank you. <laughs> Right. Oh, really? Which one? Oh, baby. Right, it's time. It's time, it's time. Better not show this to Linda, she's in the studio. It's time, it's time, it's time. She hasn't heard me, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Don't show Linda. Don't show Linda the green amethyst. Don't show Linda. Green amethyst. Don't show Linda the green amethyst. <sighs> Right. Don't you make that face at me, Linda. Right. Now, this gemstone's got a bit of a history on jewellery maker. It's got a bit of a history. A checkered past, shall we say. We've been able to bring you green amethyst on jewellery maker for um, a fair few years, and it's always been um, a much admired gemstone. It's one of those gemstones that we always seem to test out new, interesting ways of faceting on. It, we always seem to um, um, test out different ways of faceting on this gemstone. Um, and it's because you've got a gem here with huge amounts of clarity, with a very subtle color. Now, I don't know if you're aware of um, a certain colored diamond, a certain colored diamond called the Dresden diamond. It is one of the world's most precious gemstones. It's one of the world's most priceless gemstones. And it's one of those gemstones that every diamond cutter out there, every gemologist, every gem connoisseur out there who's worth their weight knows about and loves. The Dresden diamond, which is one of the world's only natural green diamonds, um, the color is very, very similar to the colour you get in extremely high quality green amethyst. Now what does extremely high quality green amethyst look like? It looks exactly like the green amethyst you're getting there. Top quality green amethyst should have a silvery green tone to it. You may know this gemstone as praiseolite. A silvery green tone unbelievable silvery brilliance the kind of clarity that looks like it, it, it should be gin clear high quality green amethyst shouldn't have any inclusions at all it should be gin clear which is exactly what you're getting here to say this is eye clean you know it needs to be eye clean it needs to have this silvery green quality it needs to be it needs to look exactly like the strand you've got here. I mean, look, look how close Dan is to this strand here. 
Look how close he is. He's not frightened at all of getting really close into this shot because the quality of green amethyst you are getting here is just, it, it is sublime. It is wonderful. Now herein lies the problem. Occasionally, occasionally in the past, green amethyst that we bought you on Jewelry Maker has had these kind of qualities. It has been unbelievable in its color, unbelievable in its clarity, unbelievable in the quality which you get. But the price point sometimes has been of a higher amount. Price points that I've seen for, for quality green amethyst like this in the past have been $21.95, $24.95, you know, up to, up to and including about £30. Today, we're taking a risk and we're taking a big risk. I'm not gonna lie to you, we've got 200 of these strands. That's a lot, it's a lot of green amethyst. It's a lot of strands that we've got here. So Dion and I had, had an opportunity this morning. We either hold the price at what it should be and maybe half the quantity going or completely and utterly, and I do mean this, completely and utterly trashing the price on this strand and all 200 going, all 200 going to good homes. 200 of these are available. Your price today is un believable honestly we are we have trashed the price of this strand because today this is your deal just get it just get it just enjoy it just get it just enjoy it the quality you're getting here unbelievable the clarity incredible the color sublime the price point of 7.95 one of the finest price points i have ever seen for green amethyst full stop has it got the clarity of, this, of, of, of strands that I've seen in the past um, that have sold for double this price, almost triple this price? Yeah, do you know what it does? But we had an opportunity this morning, 200 of these available, what do we do? Do we hold the price point where it should be and risk only selling half of them? Or do we trash the price point? And it is a lot lower than really where we should be going. Do we risk it and trash the price point, but all 200 go? That's what we've done. That's what we've gone for. And that is why there's already a queue on the phone lines. That is why so many of you are already coming in to get these. I've got lots of you coming in to multi-buy this as well. Please do multi-buy, just multi-buy. Get as many of these as you want. I can't guarantee the next time you're gonna see green amethyst of this quality on Jewelry Maker. I certainly can't guarantee it's gonna be 7.95. If it is, you're very lucky, but my goodness me, you've gotta get it now. Green amethyst that I bought you in the past on Jewelry Maker, has been superb the only thing i would say is occasionally and it is and it is only occasionally the price point is 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 high enough to exclude some people and i don't want it to be i don't want to exclude anyone on jewelry maker today i don't think we're excluding anyone with that price point do you i think every single one of you watching today can get involved with this every single one of you today can get involved with this deal every single one of you today can get involved with this at 7.95 i honestly I honestly, I honestly do not think you are going to find green amethyst on Jewelry Maker again at a price point. I mean, if you do, fantastic. But honestly, get it now, get it now. David, you've multi-bought. Frida, you've been multi-buying. Pauline, Jill, Elizabeth, Susan, another Susan, Jean, you are all multi-buying. Sarah, you're multi-buying as well. You are all multi, so many of you are multi-buying. You've got to get it now. You've got to get it now because green amethyst to get on jewelry maker for 7.95 isn't going to happen. If it does, brilliant. But do you know what? At this kind of quality, with this kind of color, if it happens, it happens. But honestly, I, I very much doubt you're going to see this kind of deal again. It's amazing, isn't it, Deb? Uh, it's green, insane. The, the clarity, the colour, it's got, it's got absolutely everything going for this strand, doesn't it? It looks like drops of water oh. on the strand. It's, it's exactly what it should look like. It should look like this. It's it gorgeous. Should, it should have the clarity. It should have the colour. It should have the brilliance, the silvery green quality. The only thing it shouldn't have is that price point. But today, no. it's yours. It's that price point. It's, 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 it's done. It's yours. I love that strand. It's, it's 
so beautiful. It's glowing. It's, it's light. It's luminous. Yeah. Perfect for this spring. Perfect for this it summer. Is. Perfect. Uh, Bernadette, you've bought two. Georgina, you've bought two. Jennifer, you've bought two. So many of you are multi-buying. Alison, you've bought two as well. Helen, you've bought two as well. I'm so glad to see so many of you multi-buying today. It really is awesome, especially with a strand like this. Now, if you want to add anything to this, why not get some of the Moonstone that we bought you today? Why not get the Moonstone that was 1995 right at the beginning of the show? If you, if you weren't watching, oh my word, you haven't missed out. If you want to come in and get it, go for it. Moonstone Rondells, 1995. Some of the most claritiful uh, moonstone that I've ever seen on Jewelry Maker. 1995, some of the best quality moonstone I've ever bought you on Jewelry Maker. Under 20 pounds if you want to come in and get that. If you want to come in and get the, um, oh, why not go for, do you know what? The, mm, very, 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 very limited edition. Um, we only, we only commissioned 31 of these. If there's any of these left, go for it. But the pink spinel that we bought you earlier on today for 69.95. If you want to come in and get it, and I mean, look at that. Look at those mm. two together. Pink and green to go beautifully together. Because of course, think about pink roses. Think about flowers. What do flowers all have? They all have stems. What color are the stems of flowers? Green, which is why green will go with any other color that you put it with. If there is a flower that is pink, which of course there are millions and millions of flat varieties of flowers which are pink, it's gonna go with it. What about the blue sapphire? Do you get blue flowers? Yeah, of course you do. Look at those two together. Do you get blue and green in nature together? Of course you do, that's why they go together. So think about, think on, I mean, look at those two together. They look awesome, don't they? That's really nice, actually. Yellow gold, silver, rose gold, go with any of those, couldn't you? You really could. What about with the hot pink? Blimey. Yeah, Ooh. why? because you get roses this kind of color, you get flowers this kind of color. Think about, think about the colors that you get in nature. The reason why these two, to, two go together is because you get flowers in those colors. And of course, all stems, all uh, leaves on, uh, on flowers, well, they tend to be green. But you know, it's incredible. Like I say, you're getting all the kind of qualities you'd expect to get in some of the highest quality green amethyst in the world. The only thing that doesn't go with this deal is the price point. But do you know what? We've, we've, we've said, do you know what? Let's, let's, just, let's, just, let's just take a risk. Let's just take a risk. Let's trash the price on this strand. It's amazing, isn't it? I've got so many of you multi-buying. Sheila. Georgina, Jennifer, I think I can count probably about 20 or 30 of you on my screen at the minute. You, you, well, your names are going off the screen, but 20 or 30 of you on my screen at the minute who are multi-buying. Well over, well over 2,000 stock have gone. You know, it, 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 it's one of those strands. You've got to get it. You've got to be in it to win it. 7.95 for genuine gorgeous green amethyst there. Well done, my loves. Gorgeous deal. Right. Got a great deal for crimp beads here now. No, I don't want to put that strand down. I love it. Right, crimp beads. Oh, holla, 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 ho, ho, ho. Check, check out my crimp beads. Check, check. Check out my crimp beads. Check, check. Diggy, dig, dig. Here we go. Rose. Don't know what's gone into me today. Rose gold plated 95 stunning silver crimp beads. 50. Yellow gold plated 95 stunning silver crimp beads. 50. Together. One hundred crimp beads. Right, so these are precious metal crimp beads. We saw Deb using crimp beads in a really awesome way today, didn't we? In this ring, <laughs> which I so happen to have on my desk because I'm having it. Ah! See how she's used those crimp beads? Yeah. All the um, flat edges of the crimp beads just reflecting like diamonds. They're gorgeous, 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 aren't they? So rose gold plated 95 stunning silver crimp beads. Well, actually they described this rose gold plated 95 stunning silver tubes. Oh no, tube crimps, I do beg your pardon. And then yellow gold plated 95 stunning silver crimps as well. So 50 of each of these. Oh no, hang on a minute. 150. No, 200. What? 200. A hundred rose gold plated sterling silver crimp beads and a hundred yellow gold plated 95 sterling silver crimp beads. <laughs> What's the price on these? What? 
Hey? Are you sure? Dion just said, do you know what? I'm sure I'm just gonna do it, I don't care. She's a rebel. Do you want to see your price point for 200 precious metal crimp beads? They are precious metal, aren't they? Yeah, the rose gold plated silver and gold plated silver crimp beads, 200 in total. I'm not being funny. <laughs> I'm not being funny, but that's like, I thought 11.95 for 100 crib beads was amazing. 11.95 11 for 100 precious metal crib beads would be amazing, yeah? Yeah. 11.95 for 200 precious metal crib beads though. That's incredible. Oh my word. Deb, you used these as a feature, didn't you? I mean, yeah. you used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> so she's still got. <laughs> hundreds. <laughs> she's still, yeah, a hundred. Do you know what? I was actually trying to work it out of my head then. Yeah, I'm not going to. <laughs> she's still got 189 left. <laughs> I mean, you could use them as, as Deb has as a feature, but really they are the mechanics. Argue, argue, I can't think of actually, apart from, apart from an elasticated ring or an elastic, a stretchy ring or stretchy bracelet, other than that, there really isn't a single piece of jewelry you can make without a crimp bead, is there? Macrame pieces you can, because you can use a Oh, you're splitting class. hairs now, ha. Deb. Ha! For pity's sake. <laughs> you asked. <laughs> smarty pants over there but literally there is there are very linda there are very few pieces of jewelry you can make with that crimp beads aren't they uh, you're right i'm right thank you linda is She's the right answer soul. i yeah. am right i'm always right and don't you forget it no, i'm joking but honestly 11 11.95 for 200 crimp beads for the you know mechanic for the for mechanical pieces perfect for accents, as Deborah use them here, amazing. 11.95 for half this amount of crimp beads would be incredible, but 11.95 for 200, and they're precious metal. They are precious metal crimp beads. That is just incredible. Well done. Well done, everyone. That is just awesome, well done. If you do want to multiply those again, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. What are we doing now, love? Seven. Sorry to interrupt your mother's meeting in there. Sorry, Dion. All right, all right, all right. She's feisty today. I did say seven before. <laughs> she doesn't say anything like that. I did say seven, actually. Actually. All right. Tell you what. Blimey. Get off your high horse. Look there on a high horse. All right, well done, everyone. Gemstone mix. Mix up the gemstones. Now, Deb was going to choose. This is her challenge today. <laughs> this is a lovely bundle, isn't it? It is. Really lovely. Um, this has got, this is full of beautiful little seed beads. This is really, really lovely. I don't know if any of you use the bead loom like Deb is using at the moment. I don't know if it's actually on camera five. It, it, it's a camera five. That's a very unprofessional thing to say. It's on the side. Look at that. She's using, look. <laughs> Caught. Caught in the act. <laughs> um, but you can bead loom with um, gemstones like these. Um, a lot of people at the minute are into sewing with gemstones, quite literally embroidering with gemstones. You can sew them onto, um, sew them onto, sew initials onto handkerchiefs. You can sew them onto bags, sew them onto um, tops. Lots of, lots of lovely ways in which you can embellish your um, clothing um, uh, with genuine gemstones. The gems you're getting in this beautiful bundle are, are really, really, really are that sweet. Um, Seed beads are actually very, very difficult to bring you because if you can imagine faceting a gemstone which is um, 10 millimetres in diameter, it's a lot easier than faceting a gemstone and drilling a gemstone which is maybe a couple of mil in size. Everything has to be downsized. Now, 
for that reason, gemstones like this can be actually very, very expensive to, um, to uh, gemstone strands can be very, very, uh, gemstone strands like this are very difficult to manufacture. The price of that goes up even more when you start faceting gemstones of this size. And what have we done with this strand of unikite? We faceted this strand of unikite. Can you imagine how difficult it is to facet a strand of unikite like this? Unbelievable. 10 carats of unikite faceted 2 mil rounds. This is quite incredible. Yeah. The next strand of gemstones is equally as incredible because this is a strand of, oh my word, these are beautiful, faceted amethyst two mil rounds as well. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at this. Blush. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 Faceted amethyst, two mil rounds. Incredible. The next strand is equally as gorgeous. Look at this. Green color quartz teardrops. Now these are drilled from top to bottom. And can you see there's that lovely bit of transparency in here? Well, more of a translucency actually, so, so not like glass. Um, really, really beautiful translucent quality here. Really beautiful little um, uh, green colour quartz drops. I'm just looking at the size. Oh, five by three millimetres in diameter. And then, and then, and then rose quartz centre drilled squares. Look at these. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Very, very different strand here in the fact that you're going to be getting those edges, that shard-like um, um, luster from the side of these gorgeous gemstones. Now, in this bundle, you've got four technically very, very difficult strands to bring you. Why should you care? Why should you care? Because when you come to make pieces of jewelry out of, a str out of strands uh, from this bundle, when you go to sell those pieces of jewelry on, it's important to impart that knowledge, to give that knowledge to people who you're selling that jewelry to or giving that jewelry to. These are very, very difficult gemstone strands to manufacture because they've got to be faceted, they've got to be drilled. And when you're working with gemstones which are that much smaller, it's just important to appreciate it. Four strands of technically some of the most beautiful gemstones we've got in the building. And here is your price today. That just isn't the kind of price that I would attribute with four strands like this. Four strands. Faceted two mil beads of amethyst, of unikite, center drill drops of five by three millimeter green colored quartz. And then these beautiful square discs of rose quartz. 12.95 just is not the kind of price point I would, I, I would ever consider putting with these four strands. We've got guest designers who, um, uh, such as Sheila and Linda, who've traveled over to India and to China and have seen these gemstones being faceted and they appreciate, as I'm sure a lot of you do as well, appreciate just how difficult it is to bring you gemstones of this kind of size. So much so that for years on Jewelry Maker, we, didn't, we couldn't actually bring you seed beads because they were just so, so expensive for us to source. We've managed to source them now. And I tell you what, the price difference the, the kind of price difference that we're selling these to you at now as to what compared to what we were selling these to you at is, is unbelievable. 12.95 for four strands, incredible. Um, I've got Linda who's coming to get two, uh, uh, two lots of these, which is great to see, well done. If you do want to come in and get two or three lots of these, uh, please just go for it because honestly, being able to make little seed beads out of these, sewing with these, it, it allows you to use gemstones in a very different way, doesn't it, Deb, when you've got gems of this kind of size and quality? It does, yeah. Um you can you can almost make lace out of gemstone That's exactly what you can do with them yeah um and and i love that all the intricate texture that yeah. you can get with those three different strands it's it's using gemstones in a very different way um, and don't think that that because the gemstones are smaller um th that you need to be a very um, um accomplished jewelry maker to be able to use these if you're brand new to jewelry making get them home you don't have to use them straight away just get them home look at them and appreciate them for what they are a miracle, I think, an absolute miracle mm. to be able to facet gemstones of this size and then drill them is so, it's technically, it's so demanding, but 
just awesome, just incredible. Twelve ninety five all of these four strands they're absolutely beautiful aren't they gorgeous well done really really lovely that i've still got you coming through there's a bit of a queue there just hold those lines well done my loves right next number 10. oh challenge sorry darling i thought you said number Go 10. On. uh so <laughs> what's that of what the challenge oh yeah have you got any left so we've got about six of this bundle left, so it's going to be nice and quick. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Deb's challenge. Honestly, it's, it's, it's going to go. It's going to sell out in the next few seconds. Here we go. So three strands of amethyst, uh, laminate amethyst bicones. We'll bring the details on screen and the price. 14.95 for three strands. Okay, so a triple trouble uh, deal for your amethyst bicones. Let's go and see the jewellery that the lovely, delectable Deb has made. It better be good. <laughs> it better be good. If it isn't, I'll be very upset. Ooh. There's a threat. There's a threat. Have you used the bead loom? I have used the bead loom. Brilliant. Thank you, my love. So, did you enjoy your... Oh, my... It will be a bracelet. Ooh. I've lost a flower. I haven't. Oh... This is why the bead loom is so popular. Look at the look at the start of this incredible bracelet that our Deb has made using the bicones of amethyst and the bead loom. It's stunning. It's just gorgeous. Sparkles. A beautiful lad. It does. <laughs> Do you know what? Um, uh, um, the bicones of lavender amethyst just give you so much luster. So much beautiful candy floss texture i do i can see why people use the uh, use the bead loom all the time in their jewelry don't you yeah mm. i i go through phases sometimes um i'll i'll do it for for months and months and months yeah and then other times i'll just leave it and go on to something else yeah but i always come back to it i learned when i was sort of um nine or ten something like that and my, at my Ooh, nan's nice and um so ever since then I've, I've sort of do you know yeah been do you know working with it do you know what deb you're right this is perfect for easter holidays summer holidays all, oh. that, all, all those kind of um uh, times because because as you say you learn how to use the bead loom when you were nine or ten yeah. details for the bead loom at the bottom of the screen there 29.95 for you uh, for the rick's bead loom um triple triple uh, amethyst bicones that is pretty much sold out to be fair uh, but the bead loom 29.95 and it's something which comes with instructions comes with everything you need Oh wow, I can tell you've really enjoyed working uh, with this challenge as well. It's gorgeous. It's been nice, it? yeah, mm. it's been nice. Love that piece, it's just gorgeous. So I might take it and finish it. Yeah, I think that'd be a nice thing to do. Photos of all of Deb's jewelry will be on our uh, web, uh, will be on our Facebook page as well um, after the show today. Um, now, the designer inspired show today uh, is with, of course, the lovely Becky and with Linda. So expect silliness. Expect some gorgeous jewellery. Oh, she's waiting in the way. Oh, she's raising her eyebrows. She's oh, she's got one of those on her today. <laughs> she's going to be ever so naughty. Uh, and uh, and uh, yeah, fantastic. And, and don't go away because the late show, uh, because the late show tonight is with uh, who's who's on the late show tonight actually. I know Dion's producing, so the prices are going to be ridiculous. Ed, Ed the Doc, <laughs> Ed the Doc presenting uh, the late show tonight, and uh, Dion is going to be producing, so there's going to be some ridiculous price spots. Pip is producing the next show. I fear for everyone. I really do. <laughs> he's got one. He's, he's got his flip flops on today. There's only that, that, that can only mean one thing: yeah. crazy price points. Yeah. Does it mean that today? Yeah. It means crazy price points. He's just standing over there. Crazy price points. It's one of those, right? I'll be back on the show tomorrow, uh, which is great fun with Gemma Crow. When are you back, lovely Deb? A week on Saturday. A week the 19th. on Saturday, the nineteenth. Hey, I think I might be on that show. Woo! Whoop, 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 whoop. Mid show. Oh, mid show. I want to design a smart show. Oh, shit. I get a lie in. There you go. It's gets, yeah, it gets a bit of a <laughs> lie. Uh, and just to give you a bit of warning, this Sunday I'm on the li oh, I'm on the day show with uh, with Linda. Yay! Tell you what, it's going to be a challenge. Every day's a challenge with Linda. But anyway. There we go. So fantastic. So thank you so much for joining us. It's been awesome. Please do not switch over. Please do not turn off because we've got the designer inspired show with Linda and with Becky right now. Can I, can I go over to the, oh, I know. I saw that come in. It looks Deb, nice. I'm going to leave you. Thank you yeah. very much today. Lovely. Pleasure. Right, I'm going to head over. Where's that ring on? Where's that ring on? 
It's in the chair. <gasps> it's over there. It's over there, thank goodness. It's yeah. over there. Deb's ring. It's my ring. It's my ring. My precious. You said Deb's ring. The ring that you made, uh, which is now mine. Okay. Hello, my love. 